What's up, guys? Welcome to the weekly Q&A hangout. We're definitely going to get into that. Kadarius Tony scared the crap out of me. Just kidding. Love, uh, say hi to, t to, <laughs> to the lamp, Kadarius Tony. But what we're going to do real quick before we dive into this q and I have a few things I want to talk about. I want to talk about Justin Reed. He's still tweeting. It's like he's turning, I don't know. I like Justin Reed, but it's like, dude, why do the safeties, Tyron Matthew, now Justin Reed, why, why do these guys have to uh, take to Twitter? I don't know. But we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about a defensive tackle on the Chiefs roster getting released today. We're going to talk about something else, too. The Chiefs offensive line and D-line how much they cost based on their performance. Then we're going to get out, or then we're going to finish up, wrap that up, and hang out, Q&A, and all that good stuff. But first, all right, guys, let's talk about this. If you're new around here, if you're watching this video after, my name is Cole, and I do daily news about the Kansas City Chiefs. So sub if you're new, hit that like button, all that good stuff, and let's get into this video. First off, Justin Reed, Twitter. Basically, what happened was, everybody knows the lead-up before, he mislabeled Hayden Hurst in a locker room interview after practice one day, saying he's going to lock him up, he's not the best run blocker, and yeah, then the game happened, but before, even before the game happened, on Twitter, he corrected himself, said, hey, I didn't mean Hayden Hurst, or I meant Hayden Hurst, but... When I mislabeled these receivers, it don't matter because anybody and everybody getting locked up. Okay, game happened. Chiefs lose. We know that. Well, I don't know what Justin Reed had in his morning coffee. I don't know if they spiked it, <laughs> but he tweeted this out this morning. Just like randomly out of the blue. Unpopular opinion. We lost, but I was still right. Zip it. Emoji. Cry about it. <laughs> So I'm over here like, well, what was he right about? Well, there's there is some positives and some not so great things about his performance on Sunday. So there's a couple things here. He did have his best coverage grade of the entire season. Justin Reed did. 37. He was in coverage for 37 snaps. Okay, 37 of his snaps. He was out in coverage and just one target his way for no receptions. Now, Justin Reed... And a lot of these passes that I was seeing, he was deep in the secondary. Okay, so he's like way back in the secondary, not just being targeted much because he's kind of kind of holding down the, the backside. So, okay, cool. He has a good grade. Nice. All right, good job. But if you look at his run-stopping grade, okay, he did have two missed tackles. One was for sure when he got stiff-armed, I mean – badly by P Ryan, the Bengals backup running back. And he did grade out as his third worst game of the season against the run. So that's not positive per se. He did do well in coverage, struggled against the run, missed a couple tackles. But my whole, my whole thing about this is man, he, I mean, maybe he's talking about Hayden Hurst, unpopular opinion. We lost, but I was right. Zip it, cry about it. I mean, Hayden Hurst made it a series and a half before he he hurt his calf. So maybe he's talking about he locked Hayden Hurst down, but Hayden Hurst played for a snap and a half, or a, a, a series and a half. Sorry, not a snap and a half, a series and a half. Yeah, when it's grim, um, be the grim reaper. I don't know, it's just a little weird that, go get it. that it's, I was still right, zip it, cry about it. Nicole with the membership, let's go. Appreciate that. Um, and it's just kind of weird to me because the Chiefs lost. So it's like, what were you right about? He said, anybody and everybody getting locked up. The defense really struggled. I've done a, a video yesterday. My video yesterday, it dropped late this morning, or really early this morning, rather. 3 a.m., I think is when I dropped it. I cover a lot of the Chiefs' struggles. Missed tackles. Multiple people did struggle in coverage. The Bengals abused the center of the field, poking holes at their zone defense when they went into zone coverage. I mean... They didn't do much to stop Burrow. The pass rush could not get to Burrow. Kind of a, a struggled performance from the defense overall. Even though they lost by three, they did have their moments. You know, Trent McDuffie shined. Joshua Williams had some moments, even though he gave up like six receptions for a lot of yards. He was tight in coverage on a lot of those, including the game-ending one. 
So, yeah, th- this tweet is just weird to me. I don't know what the heck he's trying to say here. Zip it, cry about it. Well, what are we crying about? And I know you're not even talking to Chiefs Kingdom, but it's like, what are the Bengals crying about? <laughs> they won the freaking game. So that's my whole point about that. I'm not going to go much longer on that. I mean, I'm not a Justin Reed hater. I don't mind the guy. I think he's having a decent season. I don't, like, some people are saying, oh, he's been a bad offseason signing. Well, I don't think so. I don't think he was um, signed to be Eric Berry in his prime reincarnate. You know what I mean? Just able to perform at the level, at least, with the, the ceiling of going higher than Honey Badger did his last year here in KC. Okay? So that's it, in my opinion. So if he's at least doing that, then I'm happy. Not that he couldn't do better. I would always like that. The second thing I want to talk about that I found <clears throat> that was super interesting. Joshua Briscoe shared this earlier today. For all the Chiefs' issues in the trenches, they're spending the seventh most in the NFL on the O-line and the most in the league on the D-line per spot track. Spot rack, however you say that uh, website. Add in all the draft picks spent in the trenches too, and it just hasn't been Good enough. So let's talk about this for just a second here and we'll move on. The seventh most in the NFL on the O-line. A lot of that's going to Joe Tooney and Orlando Brown Jr. Orlando Brown Jr. is expensive on the tag. Joe Tooney is on a pretty good deal. Borderline left tackle money. Obviously, Creed Humphrey, Trey Smith on rookie deals. I think Andrew Wiley is just on like a vet deal, like a one year. I think that's just off the top of my head, but that's not expensive. But the seventh best or... They're the seventh most expensive O-line in the NFL. And, I mean, the tackles are struggling a lot. I talked about this yesterday. But Patrick Mahomes is the fourth most pressured QB in the entire NFL. But thank God Patrick Mahomes is absolutely elite because his pressure to sack percentage is like 10.2%. The best in the NFL, meaning he gets sacked the least amount of times per pressure when you break it down into percentage. So. He's the best in the NFL at avoiding sacks, basically, for all the times he gets pressured. Let's talk about the D-line. <clears throat> this surprised me. I knew the Chiefs were spending a lot of money, but they're spending the most in the league on the D-line? The most? Homie, huh? How? I mean, I guess Frank Clark's deal is a bit expensive, even though they restructured him. Chris Jones, yeah, that's expensive. But I'm like, the most? We got Colin Saunders, you got... Turk Wharton, you got, I mean, Taylor Stallworth just got cut, which we're going to talk about that next. Uh, George Karloftis is on his rookie deal. I mean, that's crazy to me. Now, to be fair, the Chiefs' D-line, it did they did struggle last game, but, they, you know, overall they've played pretty well. About fifth or sixth most sacks in the entire NFL. They, you know, are at least at the halfway ranking in between teams as far as their overall defensive grade, I believe. Actually, I could I could look at that right now because I'm literally looking at it. They are eighth in the entire NFL in their pass rush grade, but their defense overall, yeah, they're ranked 14th. So that's, you know, just over middle of the field. But that's crazy, guys. That's, that's freaking expensive. I didn't know that. That's crazy. You guys got to let me know your thoughts in the, the live chat because did you know that the Chiefs had the most expensive D-line <laughs> in the entire NFL? Like, what is that? That's crazy. Last thing I want to talk about before hanging out with y'all, doing a Q&A. Taylor Stallworth today got released. This is his agent, Brett Tesler. The Kansas City Chiefs informed me they are releasing my client, Taylor Stallworth, veteran. Defensive tackle should get interest from other teams on waivers. He probably will. I jokingly said he got a roughing the passer call on Joe Burrow. (laughs) And the Chiefs said, you're out of here. Get out of here. Tell him, Tony. Yeah, smile at him, Tony. That's not why. I think it was just a performance thing overall. And remember, they signed the veteran just last week, defensive tackle Brandon Williams, um, to the practice squad. So I would assume that he gets called up or signed to the roster, rather, from the practice squad. That's probably what's happening, but I ain't no genie. And I definitely ain't no genius. That's just my best guess. 
that's kind of what I have for you guys right now, man. Uh, the Justin Reed thing, there's the update on that. And mods, if any of you guys are in here, I know there's a few, and I'll shout you guys out in a moment, but make sure that if people say, hey, what's the news? What's the news on Justin Reed? What's the news on Taylor Stallworth? Just tell them to go back to the very beginning of the stream. And the last thing I want to talk about, actually, before this Q&A, is uh, I saw an interesting tweet from about... It's from the Cowboys about Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> Listen to this. Source. The Cowboys have concerns after Odell Beckham Jr.'s physical that his recovery from the torn left ACL in the Super Bowl has not progressed enough to ensure he would play before mid-January and possibility exists signing him would have no benefit until the 2023 season. If you didn't know Orlando, not Orlando, Odell Beckham Jr., geez Louise. If I said Orlando a minute ago, I definitely meant Odell. Wrong OBJ. Talking about Odell, the receiver. He just visited Dallas. And again, the only reason why I'm talking about him is because I get asked almost every stream, are we going to sign Odell Beckham Jr.? Well, I would assume the Chiefs probably have the most conservative medical staff in the entire NFL. I'm sure the Cowboys have a great medical staff too. I'm not, that's not a shade or, you know, any shade to them. But if they're saying it, they literally said, they have concerns after Odell Beckham Jr.'s physical that his recovery from the torn left ACL in the Super Bowl has not progressed enough for him to have any real contribution until the next season. So I don't think Odell is going anywhere. He'd probably just, it'd probably be best for him to not sign with the team and risk, risk re aggravating the ACL injury early. So I don't think we're going to get Odell, guys. I didn't think we were going to get Odell before. But, dude, if he comes in here and has a physical from the Chiefs medical staff, I mean, either either the Cowboys just, they're, they're wrong, or the Chiefs would agree. So, that's all I got for you for updates. I didn't do a daily video today. My, my daughter had a, a Christmas music recital thing for her kindergarten class. And uh, I don't think anybody in there watches my vids. They can't sing, bro. It was wild, but it was cute. I was glad to be there for my daughter, and <laughs> yeah, it was cute. But man, you couldn't you couldn't hear each kid mic'd up. But it's just like, woo. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. That's that's it. Justin Reed keeps tweeting. The the Chiefs have an expensive O line and D line. Taylor Stallworth released. Brandon Williams probably getting called up. With all that being said, we got 350 people in here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday night. If you have a question, make sure to throw some question marks at the beginning and end of your question. It helps me. There's a lot of a lot of movement in the chat, so it helps me kind of pull those pull those and kind of answer it. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. The the Bengals loss, I mean Yeah, I've watched the game again. I've looked at the coach's film. I've done a couple of videos on it. <clears throat> I mean, if you looked at my preview video of Chiefs versus Bengals, I literally said this team's the real deal. If they're not the toughest team on our schedule, they are the second, possibly, outside of the Bills. So they're the real deal, man. <clears throat> and we lost by three. You know, you can't you can't have the strip sack or the strip fumble with Kelsey. You can't miss a, a field goal. That, that might be a different video altogether that Coach Reed probably should have put the ball in Patrick Mahomes' hands anyway. I think it was like fourth and five, fourth and seven. But dude, game on the line. You want to give the ball back to the to Joe Burrow and company that you couldn't stop all day? You want to give the ball back to them, tie game with three minutes left, and they have like two timeouts? That's a little wild to me, guys. That's a little wild to me. Patrick Mahomes, obviously, on the on the to the media, on the stand, the pedestal. What the freak is it? The podium, thank you. I just thanked myself. What a weirdo. But he said uh he trusts Coach Reed, he trusts his decision. Oh, darn, with the $2 test. Let's go. What are you testing over there? You testing donos? He's getting ready for a bomb. I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, so if, we could talk Bengals if you want. We got the Broncos next. I was in Brandon Perna's video today, which was kind of cool. I don't feel like the sound's working. Actually, maybe it is. Yeah, it's working. Nice. I was in Brandon Perna's uh, Power Rankings video today. 
that's cool. If you haven't seen that, make sure to check it out sometime. I had a, a little segment in there, and I got cursed. He spun the wheel on me, guys. I'm, I'm actually scared. I was afraid to go to my daughter's little music thing and because I was just, you know, kind of scared. <laughs> What's up, kitten? Blueberries in here. Yeah, I'm a little surprised also about the Justin Reed thing. I didn't say it earlier, but I'm a little surprised about it because Andy Reed and his presser said, I talked with Justin. He's new. He won't do that again, basically. Yet the Chiefs lose the game, and he comes out. He didn't really say anything too crazy, you know what I mean? And and to be fair, Tyron Matthew was arguing with fans like every week. <laughs> so, I mean, Justin Reed's tame in comparison. So don't 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 get it twisted. I'm not freaking out over it. I'm not losing sleep over it by any means. But what I am gonna do is have a six glass with you guys. Tony is eyeballing it very suspiciously. No, Tony, you cannot have any. You need to heal your hamstring. So six glass. Is Justin Ross playing this weekend? Maybe, man. Maybe K Wayne. I don't I don't know. It depends. Depends on he's hurt. He hurt his elbow last game, actually. Justin Ross, yeah, he, his elbow's kind of jacked up, to be honest. What are you talking about, kitten? What are you talking about over here? Yo, what's up, Uri? It's past eight. Good God, I went live at like before eight oh one. Jeez Louise, man. Jeez Louise, Bryson. Yo, what up, Odarn? What up, man? You're sick? Sicker than swine flu? Like, what kind of sick? What are we talking about? What's Tony doing? He, he's just hanging out, man. <laughs> I love lamp. If you need around here, you're whack? If you need what? We what are you talking about? Every time we field, Yo, Raven with the five. We hey, we lost to the Bengals, but the good news is we have a bye week this week uh, against the Broncos. I mean, I will say this about the Broncos. We'll talk more about them later in the week. Um... Their offense is god-awful. Their defense is really good. I don't think it's going to be a trap game like against the Colts. The Colts aren't a good team. But the Chiefs still found a way to implode and lose. Wouldn't think that's going to happen. The Chiefs have won, what, 13 in a row against the Broncos? Haven't lost to the Broncos since 2017. It's just over seven years now. 2015. It's been over seven years since the Chiefs have lost to the Broncos. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm not an idiot. You know, you can't just go in there and be like, oh, you know, uh. they got a good defense, but their offense is so bad. Yo, what up, Juju? Yeah, KD's looking, peeking. What up, Chris? How's it going, brother? Need to build a team to beat the Bengals, fix the O-line. Got to be better. What do you think of the offensive play calling? Thought it was lacking the usual screen motions. Uh, it just seemed flat. Hmm. I mean, let me let me. I want to pull something up because I am curious about something. The I mean, the Chiefs didn't really struggle with getting points on the board. I mean, they were up by four in the fourth quarter, driving down the field. And if Kelsey doesn't fumble, I mean, it was at midfield. But if Kelsey doesn't fumble, let's just say, I mean, if they go up and kick up or score a touchdown. I mean, they probably score a TD, go up by 11 with like five minutes left in the fourth quarter. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to, I want to go to the drives real quick. So, if, if we look at the Chiefs' drives against the Bengals, field goal, punt, touchdown, end of half. Touchdown, fumble, missed field goal. Not a lot of not a lot of possessions here because both teams are holding on to the ball and taking their time on these drives. But yeah, they scored a field goal initially, which was, you know, probably should have gotten the red zone or the end zone. They were in the red zone, I believe. But what what else did you say? Usual screens. I mean, I think we're missing McCole Hardman. Kadarius Tony is injured. We could say, you know, you can say what you want about McCole Hardman, but he was a red zone animal. He was scoring TDs left and right. In the red zone. I mean, that's a threat you can't just dismiss with him being out on IR. Kadarius Tony's one in his own right. I know he's newer here. Um, 
But yeah, I, I wasn't super upset with the play calling. I mean, the run was working. They ran almost 50-50, like as far as play calling goes, which was interesting. But dude, Jarek McKinnon was averaging like 6.4, 6.7 yards per carry. Pacheco was over five yards a carry. And then the Bengals sometimes, not always, I don't think they did this a lot, but on certain key plays, they would drop eight and have a spy. So it's like, run the ball. I mean, that's what they did. Think about uh, Isaiah Pacheco's touchdown from the eight-yard line on second or third and goal. Light box, they just freaking run it, and Pacheco scores. Find your love here? Come on, PAS36.FUN. Nobody's falling for that, you little bum. We just do what we do. Ooh, is McColl out one more week? Can somebody answer that? Does, it, does anybody know? I don't know off the top of my head. It's either one or two more, at least. James with the five. What up, homie? What's up? Resident Broncos fan in here. What's up, man? Grim, be the Grim you ready for the game? And go get it. Oh, darn. So call me about the brisket. Uh, good job on reading Twitter. My Gmail's 90th birthday is at the end of the month. Oh, that's fine. Thanks for the five. Your grandma's 90th birthday. Dang, what a legend. 90 years? Now I'm 31. That's like, I got to live, you know, how long I've lived times three? Oh, man. It's a long time. That's awesome. Yeah, man, for sure. I appreciate that again. Penalties and turnovers were the core reasons? Mm. I mean, the turnover was pretty bad. There was a couple turn uh, calls in the beginning. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think the Chiefs had four, three or four calls, and the, the Bengals had six. The Bengals had more penalties. I don't really put that, that high of a blame on the penalties, to be honest. What's happening with Justin Reed? Just go back uh, to the beginning of the stream, brother, and I talk about it in depth there, man. Right at the beginning. A lot to play. Have faith. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kadarius. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Huck, that's crazy, man. We're talking about the D-line. I'm trying to catch up. I know I got behind. Bengals will spank the Bills. Yeah, that'll be an interesting game. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter if the Bengals win or not. Oh, you're talking about against the Bills, maybe? Yeah, we live, brother. We live. The Perna video is great. Glad you liked it, man. Yo, what up? What's up, Make? Maybe that's how you say it. What's up, man? How's it going? Nah, they're not going to cut Justin Reed. No, nah, no. Nah. Nothing's happening this season with nobody. Do I listen to Young Joker? Oh, I've heard like a few of his songs. Yo, what up, Joe? How's it going, man? Richard, possibly. He's a good run stuffer. Yeah, he's he's a vet. Good run stuffer. Going to take a little bit of time to get you know get acclimated, but I like what I saw from him, for sure. Yeah, I'm excited, Matt, about Brandon Williams. Yeah. I'd like to see what he's got in the tank. I think he dealt with a little bit of injuries last season, if I'm not mistaken, but he's like 33. That's just part of the game, right? The Chiefs won't lose to Denver. Sneed will have two pick sixes. I mean, bro, two of them? I would lose my stuff. That'd be that'd be great. Let's go. Coast country, let's ride. Yeah, thanks, Raven, for the five. Appreciate that. Still sick over this loss? Inlay, what were the tweets? Yeah, just go back to the beginning, and I kind of go over everything, uh, Buster. I mean, the tweet was, unpopular opinion, we lost, but I was still right. Zip it emoji, cry about it. I break it down at the beginning of the video, but that's wild. Brenda, what up? How's it going? Uh, we are... Actually, I have no idea. Are the Chiefs home or away? I don't even know. We play them twice, so it's it's both ways. But what is the... Okay, uh, okay the Broncos are home on Sunday. Chiefs are away. Yo, James, appreciate it, man. Are you ready for the game or what on Sunday? What's good with that? 
Oh, darn. Appreciate the five as well. Can you look at how much the defensive line makes in salary? Well, they, the tweet that I read, oh, you want the exact amount? If I can find it quick, I'll pull it up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I wonder how much it is, actually. Like an overall salary. Uh, so I saw Tony improve from our questionable. I didn't expect any movement until regular season, so you think he'll return? Uh, where did the heck did you see that, bro? I looked for an injury report a bit ago. They have one for this week? I don't think they have one for this week yet. Do they? Week 14, go. Uh, I don't I don't think they have one for this week. I could be wrong, but I don't think he's um I don't think he's playing. It's just my guess. You're drinking from a brown bottle too, but mine is cream soda. Hot take Mahomes goes uh off these last five games and in the seasons with uh five thousand plus yards. And throws 40 plus TDs. Well, I like that. Disappointed we're still having O line problems after all the focus. Yeah, grim, be the grim yeah I will say, uh, go yo, David with the membership. Let's go, man. Appreciate that. I will say the interior trio of the D line. Yo, what the freak? FLDB just gifted 20 Lawrence memberships. Grim, be the grim Reaper. Oh be the grim my Reaper. gosh, dude. Yo, if you got a membership from FLDB, make sure to say thanks within the next two weekends. We've got two things going on for members. Yeah, One, if you're the middle the tier and up, and go get we it. have the members-only Zoom call coming up pre-game, either this Sunday or next. And then the opposite Sunday, we're doing the members-only live stream. Okay, and that's just going to be a live stream yeah, like this, but for members only. And, and I, I'm actually, because you gifted 20, bro, I'm going to mute the uh, <laughs> the membership effects right now. But we're going to give away a jersey in the members-only live stream to any member. And that's that's for the, uh, like, if you got gifted a membership right now, you could come to the Members Only live stream and get your chance at winning a jersey. Dang, FLDB. Freaking legend, man. Yo, what's up, Brian? How you doing, brother? Yeah, Terry, thank you for the dono. Where's that? Terry with a $5 super sticker. Terry's always in here dropping dropping nuggets. She's often like, I'm working. It's not often on game day. The RG uh, guy says not a lot of good picks for O-line. Yeah, I wouldn't know much about um, what the draft is shaping up to be right now. I do trust RGR, Ryan, and um, Dan are really good. Um, I like them a lot. So, yeah, that's part of the problem with the Orlando Brown Jr. situation. It's hard to find a good left tackle. Now, let me, let me, be, uh, let me defend Orlando Brown for a second here, and then we'll flip it. One thing about Orlando Brown Jr. is he still, in theory, has not peaked, has not reached his ceiling. This is only really his true second season, I believe, as a left tackle. It's like he played like half a season or part of the season in Baltimore as a left tackle and then last season fully with the Chiefs and then this season. Now, that is a positive, potentially, but you don't want to hang Millions and millions of dollars on potential positives, right? So on the flip side, yeah, if, if you're not if the Chiefs aren't happy with Orlando Brown Jr. at the end of the season, I mean you only got a few options. You look at the draft, and there are some people saying there's not a lot of good picks for O line in the next year's draft. Okay. If you can't look to the draft, you've got two other options <laughs> free agency and a trade. Or a trade. So a free agent pickup, or you could, you know. That do what they did. How they that's how they got Orlando Brown Jr. They traded the Ravens. The Chiefs do have a lot of draft picks. It's not out of the realm of possibilities, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see on that. Bro, call my mama. Let me get an Xbox. So I'm stuck playing NFL Street. Bro, on a dusty old PS2. Oh, bro, let's freaking go. That's my childhood right there, man. That's my childhood right there. No, I haven't yet. Oh, darn. I forgot, actually, to listen to Prof. Uh, do you think we will draft O-linemen? I mean, yeah, they're saying that, you know, some are saying it's, there might not be a wild swing for an O-lineman. I still think that the Chiefs may try to get a tackle 
in the draft. If it's not a left tackle, a right tackle, there's also Darian Kennard to think about, Lucas Niang. A lot of, a lot of possibilities. I mean, I think D-line is a, something of need. I just think they should probably draft, what, like three wide receivers, a tight end, and a running back, and call it good. I'm just joking, obviously. But yeah, D-line, maybe a safety. I mean, they have like 12, 11 picks right now or something crazy. The refs did not constitute the game, allowing three-man rushes against instant pressure. Yeah, I mean, that ending one was, that ending play where Mahomes gets sacked, the Bengals rushed three, bro, and, and penetrated the pocket with relative ease. I understand, like, Orlando messed up there. That, that rookie had been going outside on him all day, and Orlando just assumed that's what was going on, and he pushed inside instead and completely threw him off. But, dude, that was a bad one. Compliment Carl Loftus and Clark. Um, okay. This is me complimenting Carl Loftus and Clark. What's up, Mason? Yeah, that was really nice VFLDB. Yeah, I mean, on a serious note, whoever asked that, sorry, I just was moving on, kind of being dumb. I mean, Frank Clark's had a pretty good season. Coach Reed did say that, um, you know, he's having quite possibly his best season so far with the Chiefs of any year, which was a pretty high compliment. I mean, Carl Loftus is playing. I mean, the D-line's playing pretty well. But they're not showing up sometimes when it matters, and that's what's scary. They couldn't do anything against Burrow. They got 11 pressures on him. In 66 snaps. Meanwhile, Mahomes was pressured 17 times in 54 snaps. You know? It's pretty crazy. And you you think about that, like stuff like that in games that matter, close games. And the Chiefs are spending the most in the NFL on the D-line. You know what I mean? Okay, let me see. Can I just sort this by... Yeah, I mean... Chris Jones cap hit this year is 30 million. Orlando Brown Jr. is 16. Frank Clark is 13. Pretty expensive. Who's Jersey? Oh, uh, you could pick it. Yeah, you could pick it. Evan? What up? What up, Evan? Joe said I hadn't opted in to get one. Now I know. Well, dang it, Joe. Can't be, uh, you uh, can't really tell me that this def defense can't be significantly better than we are now. Spags becoming 4-3 Bob Sutton. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Um, they are doing well in some regards. There are some positives to take away, some definite bright spots. Trent McDuffie's a big bright spot. Obviously, Chris Jones. You know, Carl Loftus is having some good moments. He's getting some pressures. I think he's, last I checked, he was tied for the most pressures of all rookies with Aiden Hutchison, I believe. You know, so there's some bright spots. There really is. Nick Bolton had his worst graded game of the entire season last game. He did struggle, but Nick Bolton has been a bright spot for a lot of the season. And the Chiefs also, man, like, think about it. Uh, Frank Clark was suspended two games. Chris Lammons was suspended. No. Chris Lammons was out only for a game with a, with a concussion, but Chris Lammons' suspension's coming. I don't know when. But the other guy that was suspended was Willie Gay Jr. for four weeks. So you're shifting a lot of guys around, moving a lot of things. Turk Wharton tore his ACL. They're playing well, but they're, like the biggest weakness I can think about, guys, uh, for the Chiefs' defense is they struggle in the red zone mightily. And they've given up like the most touchdowns in the entire NFL. I mean, I could actually tell you I can tell you right now, after this game against the Bengals, what the Chiefs' defensive stats are in that area. And th those are the biggest struggles when I think about the Chiefs is those couple areas specifically. So the Chiefs are 30th in the NFL and TD has given up. They've given up 30 touchdowns, and they're 27th in the NFL in interceptions. They've had eight picks. Is that right? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. 
I don't know how many picks they've had, but they're 27th in the league. Mahomes has thrown eight picks. Then another another thing they, they do struggle with is turnovers. They're 24th in turnovers. Just overall as a defense. So definite, definite things that come to mind. Yo, on the money with the membership, are these gifted still coming in from FLDB? I mean, bro, you dropped a you dropped a hundo, I think, for those memberships, man. Yeah, okay. And then Nicholas with the membership. On the money with the membership. That's crazy. Y'all are awesome. Fisher was better. Yeah, it's just, you know, time to move on, right? Nothing we can do about Fisher now, but I do I do miss Fish. How do you gift a membership? I don't even know, dude. I could uh I think you have to click the the dollar sign, like the super chat button, and you could you can join up via membership. You can gift a membership. There's like a couple options there. Yo, Brand with the 10. Broncos haven't allowed a 300-yard passing game to any team so far this season. $20 bet for this weekend. Mahomes goes over 300 yards. Yeah, I mean, let's freaking go, dude. Thanks for the uh, 10 bomb, first of all. Second of all, he had six 300-yard games in a row this season. Mahomes did, and I don't think anybody has six 300-yard games in the NFL. No QB other than Mahomes. I think Mahomes has more than that, but he had six 300-yard games in a row. Fun fact against the Bengals, all three games this year, he has not thrown for over 300 yards at all. 299 or less. The three times that he's played the Bengals in 2022. Pretty crazy, huh? But if he goes over 300, I like that. Let's go, dude. Old Navy, what's up, man? Are you happy with our corners? Yeah, I mean, Holly gifted 10. Holy smokes, you guys are going crazy. Wow. Man, thank you, Holly. Everyone FLDB, Brand with a 10. Go get it. Thanks for all the donos. Uh, are you happy with our corners? Yeah, I mean, I love Sneed. I think we need to extend Sneed. That guy's a freaking baller. Leads all cornerbacks in sacks, I believe. Leads all cornerbacks in tackles. He's a Swiss Army knife. We can move that man wherever he needs to play. And he'll play it and do well. Trent McDuffie, super happy with that guy. Jalen Watson, he's coming on. I think Joshua Williams has gotten the nod over him. Think about this, man. All three of those corners, the three rookies, McDuffie, Jalen Watson, Joshua Williams, they're freaking rookies, dude. I mean, they just stay healthy. They're going to, they haven't reached their ceiling yet. Joshua Williams is from Fayetteville State. An HBCU, I think it's a, what is that, a D2? D2 college. And he's a starting cornerback for the Kansas City Chiefs, one of the best teams in the entire NFL. And he's playing pretty well. He has never, ever, ever in his life played anybody close to the level he's playing against right now, and he's doing pretty freaking well. I mean, last game, yeah, he gave up six receptions. One was a 40-something a 40, a 40 yard reception to Jamar Chase. I mean, Chase was kind of violent on that route kind of threw Joshua Williams around a little bit. Was it enough to say it was offensive pass interference? I don't know. I'm not an expert by any means in what offensive pass interference is. But uh, other than that, man, he did pretty well. And he's, he's faced crazy receivers all year. The Chiefs have played some good receiving units. The Buffalo Bills. Uh, who else? I mean, the Raiders have a couple good receivers. Hunter Renfro. Devontae Adams, the Chargers. I mean, they had Mike Williams last game. But the Bengals, I mean, that was a real test there. That's the best trio in the NFL, possibly. Their wide receiver trio is quite possibly the best in the NFL. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's the only thing about YouTube right now, man. You can't gift it to a particular person. Your childhood was NES and Atari. Ooh. Nintendo, let's go, dude. Pass rush, safety, and wide receiver. I mean, tackle's definitely an issue depending on what they're going to do. I mean, if they think Darian Kennard's going to develop into the right tackle, cool. But he may end up being a serviceable guard. Is uh, What about Lucas Niang? What's that look like? I mean, is, is Wiley the long-term solution at right tackle? I'm not really sure. Is, is Orlando the long-term left tackle? I don't know. 
they might not have you know a better option. Now, prior to this game, Orlando had three good games in a row. He gave up like five pressures total in three games. No sacks. Yo, are you a Chiefs fan? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, born and raised a Chiefs fan, my guy. Justin Reed, get off Twitter. Possibly. You're a Bengals fan? Nice, dude. Uh, GG's. Y'all beat us three times in 2022. G freaking G's, man. We need someone who can compliment these two. Speed Rush. I like that. How about that third string QB win for the 49ers? Yeah, that was crazy. That's a couple things that have happened this, this week. That's pretty wild. I think Jimmy G, he's on IR. I don't know if he's out for season, but I think he w might be. Then Baker Mayfield got released, and he got claimed by the Rams as Matthew Stafford went on IR last week. Baker Mayfield is with the Rams. That's wild. Yo, I just joined. Who did Chiefs release, and what position did he play? They released Taylor Stallworth. He was a defensive tackle. I talk more about it at the very beginning if you want to, uh, if you want to read that. But this is the, this is the tweet. That's from his agent. Happened today. Um, Thornhill could be back. Hold on, Julia. I'll just answer it. Th Thornhill could be back next year. I don't know. I I don't know what direction they're gonna go. He could be back. Plays well at times. Frank uh cost too much to keep. Well, yeah, they'd have to rework a deal with him if he's gonna stay here. I, I would think. Frank's on a one year deal. Uh, I think he has one left after this, but it's it's cut up like. You can get out of it. Frank, Frank Clark contract details. I thought he had two years left. Uh, in 2023, he he does have one more deal left. Yeah, or one more year on his deal. But it's kind of expensive. I mean, it's a base salary of $20 million and a dead cap of nine. But they could cut him. Yeah, they could cut it, cut him with just a $9 million dead cap. So, one more year after this. He's playing pretty well, I mean, to be honest. Uh, why are they letting Cooks get burned back there? Uh, Brian Cook? Mm, I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at that. I don't know that I saw him getting... Yo, Jen with the 10. I don't know that I can't recall Brian Cook getting burned off the top of my head. I mean, I'm sure it happened. I just can't recall that. Am I the only one who feels Karloff is over pursuing the QB? Yeah, he's getting pressures, but he's not getting home a lot of times. I don't know if it's just his bend, his flexibility. It's just still racking up experience. Like, I don't know exactly what it is. Yo, what up, Kelly? <laughs> I want a real Tony lamp like that, dude. I would be freaked out. Imagine if he was like built into the shade. So it was like this, but it was like kind of opaque. It was just kind of built into the shade. Like, I, I would like that a lot. You like that, Julia? I'm watching on my TV and chatting on my phone. L third, let's go, dude. Uh, Nadia and Harris have to go as well as Orlando and Josh Williams. No, nah, he ain't going. Nah, he's on his rookie deal. He's staying. Harris, I think he's on a one year. Naughty, I don't know how many years he has left. Why do you want to go, oh, bro, after that? Personal valiant quarterback? I guess you might be talking to somebody because I don't know what you're saying. Terry? Dude, that is a beautiful beard. Josiah, let's go, man. Thank you, brother. I think there's a couple super chats. I want to make sure that I... Yeah, I mean, make sure to thank... Dude, FLDB and Holly went crazy with the membership gifting. Sheesh. Me looking forward to this game is like looking forward to watching my kid fight... I go to cage match. Why would I be excited to watch that? I don't know. Pacey, what up, man? Yeah, getting close to 50k sub should happen. Yeah. Um. I mean, what are we at? I don't even know. We're at 48. 
or something like that. I'm not even sure. Yeah, we'll get there soon. GG Omen with the five. How do you get a tool by your name? That's a, uh, it's moderators. Any mod that I have, I mean, I'm in, I'm going through growing pains and I do add some every now and again, but I just look for people who are here a lot, who are consistent, who aren't weird, basically. Who are we talking about, Tone B? Oh, Jimmy G. Okay, yeah, he's done then. Throw a bag at Jesse Bates this off season? Huh. <laughs> I mean, he's playing well. I haven't studied him in depth. I mean, I know who he is. He's a guy, obviously, I just made a YouTube short on. He had a massive, massive non-contact injury last game. I'm still praying for him every night. I haven't eaten since the Bengals game. Very worried about his health. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, he's a guy that faked the injury in the end zone. It happens across the NFL, but it's freaking hilarious. I had, a, I had a troll with that a little bit. Jen with a 10. Are you and Perna going to collaborate before one of the Broncos Chiefs games? Well, I did. We did, Jen. I was on Brandon Perna's video today. His power rankings video, I'm in there. I got my own little segment, which that was fun. And then he's making a little video clip for me for a video this week. So stay tuned on that. So yeah, that that's kind of the collab we're doing. I wouldn't think he would want a live stream together. Broncos and Chiefs fan, wouldn't think so. So I never asked that. But we are collabing with some videos. Dispensary is now open in Missouri. <laughs> Go get gas. Okay, that's actually nuts. Crazy to think now, huh? Dude, if I wasn't a Chiefs fan, who would I like? Ooh, I don't know because I've been a Chiefs fan my whole life. I, I just love football. I like watching great players and great QBs. So, you know, I like a lot of the wide receivers. I like Jefferson. On the Vikings, I like Diggs. I like Devontae Adams. I mean, I just like watching elites, elite players play. I like watching, like, Lamar Jackson's fun to watch. Josh Allen, he's fun. I still like watching Brady. Like, dude, that win last night was crazy. I couldn't believe it. Freaking nuts, man. Really liked Clark last year. Been a little slow for him, though. I feel like he's playing better this year than last. I mean, in my opinion. <laughs> Hi, Tony Lamp. Am I caught up on all the donos? I think I am. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. There was kind of a lot that, that went through. Oh, uh, yeah. Jen with the 10. So I got that. Yeah, Gigi Oman with the 5. Appreciate that, brother. Pacheco is nice. Yeah, I like Pacheco. Yeah, we like Pacheco. Uh, do you think we re-sign Juju and McColl? Said Hunter. Asked Hunter. Hmm. I don't know if the Chiefs are going to swing on both. Especially if McColl's like, I want a bag. You know, if he's like, I want a bag. I mean, Juju's going to want a bag. <laughs> so you gotta got to pick. I had the suspicion if they had to choose, they'd go with Juju because Kadarius Tony is here. Now, can Kadarius Tony stay healthy? I hope so. Hope in the offseason he can get with the Chiefs trainers, medical staff, they can get him right, get this hamstring fixed up. Because he did re-aggravate it. That's what's going on. So, I mean, I would love, I would love for both of them to get re-signed. Yo, what's up, Logan? Who, uh, he said. Who are we mo more likely to face in the AFC Championship, Bengals or Bills? Uh, dude, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, the Bengals and Bills play this season. Like, later, that's a better answer for you. Like, after they play. Because, dude, I, the Bengals could beat the Bills. I, I mean, I don't know who would win. But, dude, the Bengals are great. Beard is firing my man. Thanks, Kenneth. Appreciate you, man. 48.3K. Yeah, we're getting there. We'll get there soon. Definitely this month, I think. Let's go. You read my comment? Oh, yeah. What's up, dude? I try to read as many as I can. You're weird. Nah, that's all good. Me too. Dan Cole, seems like you just hit 30K. Yeah, we hit. Uh, we grew by 18,000 subs last uh, in a month, which has been nuts. We had a bunch of YouTube shorts take off. I probably had like, I don't even know. Nine, ten million views and shorts last month. 
just over the past 30 days. So it's been crazy. Uh, do I like Kung Fu movies? Got a fave. I mean, the closest stuff to like legit Kung Fu movies I watch would just be like Jackie Chan stuff. Like even his older stuff, I watch some older Jet Li stuff, but um, no, I haven't really watched any like legit Kung Fu movies in a long time. My son is a redhead with crazy curls. He asked earlier who Cole is. I told him, that's Cole. You might have a big red beard on your face like that someday. And he said, um, no. Oh, he's only three. He'll get it one day. Don't worry. That's fire. I really hope the Chiefs get in the playoffs. Who would you rather see us play? Oh, the Bills or the Bengals? I feel like I kind of... I mean, if I had to pick a team out of those two, I'd rather play the Bills. I mean, good God. At least we can beat the Bills. <laughs> no preaching in the chat, please. Yeah, someone's having Bible study with Bible verses. I saw <laughs> Yo, what up, Utilis? What up, man? It was the LSD. Yo, whoa, what is going on in here? I was on the Perna show once. Me and my buddy was at the draft wearing Fitzpatrick jersey and he covered it. <laughs> That's awesome, Joel. I love that. Top three teams thus far. Um, hmm, top three is tough. So there's quite a bit of good teams. I mean, the Chiefs are going to be up there along with the Bengals and the Bills. I mean, those are probably, you know, you could put them in whatever order, I guess, if you want. Chiefs have lost to both of them, but don't, I mean, put Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Coach Reed in the postseason. I'd take them all day. Now, those teams are going to be tough, but those those three in the AFC, I mean, the, the Dolphins are competing. There's, there's a couple other teams up. I mean, the Titans are up there too, but... I would take the Chiefs over them. They just fired their GM today, by the way. The Titans did. And then on the NFC, I mean, bro, the Eagles are good. Cowboys are pretty good. The Giants are good. Not as good, as red hot as I thought as they were earlier. I'm sure I'm missing an NFC team now that I'm like sitting here thinking about it, but those are a few off the top of my head. Chiefs need a new defensive coordinator? Oh, yeah, maybe. I mean... We'll have to find out next season. That's that's when we would know. Then it's going to happen now. If anyone's having issues getting into Discord, go ahead and connect your YouTube account. Yeah, any any new member that just joined, you now have access to the Discord. I forgot about that as well. You have to connect your YouTube account, and it'll link you up. I'd rather have Juju at this point. Yeah, he's he you know offsets really well with Travis Kelsey. And, I mean, dude, he's not Travis Kelsey, but as Travis Kelsey continues to age, if we have Juju here for the next three, four years, I mean, he can kind of step into that role a bit. Obviously, he ain't a tight end, but as far as routes go, you know, and he's just good in, like, to be used in uh, tandem with him. Or KT and McColl expected to return. So McColl, Hardman, I, I think he can come back. <laughs> Typically, I see your your uh, Kadarius Tony emote and it scared me in the chat, man. Somebody said it'd be funny if Cole put Kadarius on his face. So there you go. I think McColl can come back after next week, I believe, but I don't know when he's actually going to come back. That's just like he had to be out for a minimum of four games. Kadarius Tony's literally day to day. I don't know if we see this man until the postseason. Not living what you've seen so far uh, from Justin Reed. Yeah, um, he's had some splashes. He has struggled in some areas. I, I read off a bunch of Justin Reed stats like a few days ago. So maybe, let's see, do I have the stats right here? Yeah, here it is. Justin Reed, out of 39 safeties who have played 80% of snaps, Justin Reed is ranked 26th in coverage out of 39. 
35th in tackling out of 39. He has the seventh highest percentage of missed tackles, 35th in pass rush out of 39, and graded out 26th out overall out of 39. That's what he's looked like this season. What did you miss? Oh, well, any of the big announcements, big news pieces I covered at the very beginning, Smitty. Just talking Justin Reed on Twitter again. The Chiefs O-line and D-line performance versus their cost because the Chiefs have the most expensive D-line in the league, apparently, which is nuts. And then Taylor Stallworth got released, defensive tackle. Yo, Hunter. <laughs> oh, man. I don't, like, I laugh at this every time because I don't know who's, like, being serious or trolling, but Justin Ross is out on IR for the season. Uh, what am I going to say if the Chiefs go one and done? I'll say GG's. What are you going to say if they don't go one and done? What kind of freaking question is that? I mean, I just, I kind of live my life a quarter mile at a time, like Vin Diesel. One week of football at a time. You know, the Chiefs got to win their first matchup. That's literally how it always goes. Now, consistently they've made it to the AFC Championship at least every year. So, based on history, they should have a, a deep postseason run. If they don't, what am I going to say? I'll say, good job. <laughs> like, you know, you did well. I'll call out any anything bad that I see in the game, and then we'll move on. We'll go to the next year. My favorite Kelsey brother, uh, his is uh, Jason. Travis does that tiger laugh, and it cracks me up. Shout out Winnie the Pooh. New Heights is great. Yeah, New Heights is a great podcast. I mean, we love Travis around here, man. We're all Chiefs fans, but Jason's hilarious. Probably the funnier of the two. Do you think the Chiefs should go big bodies until Harmon and Tony get healthy? Ooh. Yeah, like um, like 12 personnel, 13 personnel, like that. Yeah, I mean, I thought they would have done that more against the Bengals. And I like when their tight ends are out there, bro. Noah Gray can catch the ball. Jody Fortson can catch the ball. Travis Kelsey can catch the ball. Yeah, I like it. You know, I do like that. I would hope they would use it more. I, I, need, to, I need to look up stats on like how, like how many snaps the Chiefs were in 12. How many snaps the Chiefs were in 13? I'd just be very curious against the Bengals specifically because they have been doing it more this season. But somebody said recently in a podcast, I can't even remember who, that they barely ran it against the Bengals. And I can't remember who said that. Yeah, Justin Ross is going to come back next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If every Chief was in an MMA tournament, who would win? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Does any of them train uh, in jiu-jitsu? If there's any Chiefs player on there that trains in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, I would go with that guy. <laughs> That's a funny question. Yeah, there's a blueberry and a huckleberry in here. It's you know a little confusing. Why does Kelsey always play like crap against Cincy? Uh, I mean, I would credit part of that to the game plan. I think the Bengals had a good game plan of limiting Kelsey. But obviously, when you limit Kelsey, other people get open. The Chiefs didn't have a pr real problem with moving the ball. Now, the strip the strip fumble was unfortunate. You know, I think he was at one point there trying to go down, but Homie had his arm lodged in there like a gynecologist delivering a baby. I mean, he his arm wasn't coming out of there without the baby in his hand. So, great play by him. By the linebacker. I, think it was, I don't even remember who it was. 57. Yeah, some of that's just good game plan. Some of it, you know. I mean, Mitch Holtis said Kelsey was sick two days before the game. Did that affect it? I have no idea. He played the most snaps out of anybody other than Mahomes in the O-line. People are saying he looked fine pregame. So, I don't know if he was sick. Mitch Holtis said he was. I'm not like using that as an excuse either. Makes me wonder. But sick or not, got to hold on to that ball. Oh, you're good, Danny. My day, 
my day's going good though. Um, yeah, I, I made a piece for Brandon Perna's video today and it, it dropped earlier. Went to my daughter's, um, she had a, like a music recital. I'm trying to pull up a picture. Maybe I could, maybe I could show you. Uh, here's what she wore to her uh, recital today. See if you guys can see it. It's kind of bright, but she wore this cute red dress with leggings. So that was cool. They can't freaking sing like just the kids as a whole, but it was cute. We need to get rid of Butker. Uh, Bring back the guy that kicked the six-yard field goal. Uh, that was uh, Matthew. Not wrong, but right. He got signed. I don't even know what team he's with now, but he got signed. I don't think they're going to move on from Butker. N not this season. I don't even know what his contract looks like. I mean, he he has struggled since coming back from the ankle injury. Missed a PAT or a field goal like three or four games in a row. But the last three games, he's only missed one field goal. I know it was the game ender. But the two games prior to that, he made 12 points one game and then three PATs. So like 15 points one game, 12 or 13 points the next game, and didn't miss at all. <laughs> typically, just typically just saw Justin Ross at the airport a few days ago, asked him where he was going, said he's gonna talk with the Titans about being their number one receiver next year. Oh no, dude. Is the chat in the Discord right now? I mean, there's probably some members in the Discord, but probably not a lot. 420 people in here, man. 420 exactly, actually. That's funny. Hey, welcome. If you guys uh are new, make sure to make sure to sub if you love Chiefs content. I'm posting every single day. If you're not new and you're just a sub watching, man, just know this. I appreciate you. Thanks for every comment on the videos for every thumbs up for every membership super chat. You guys are the reason why I get to do what I do for a living. You guys are the best, man. <laughs> Tony with the red beard looks fire. So he's been garbage. Oh, we're talking about Justin Reed. Yeah, those are tough stats, huh? Jessica said, Cole is my first time here. Well, Jessica, welcome. If I could gift individuals a membership i would gift you a membership but i can't it's all randomized but that's awesome 26 out of 39 equals deactivate your twitter account 17 and 3 chief super bowl champs baby what up justin let's go dude playoffs today we would play the jets i think i would hope i would hope ben drank in three Nice. Nobody cares about your dumb opinion, brother. Nobody cares, my guy. Nicole wants a bag. He better wish in one hand than the other. Uh, he'll, he'll get a bag. Trust me. I, I just see him going elsewhere because I think a team's going to offer him more than the Chiefs will. He'll get a bag. He's not going to get Tyreek money. He'll get a bag. Hey, Cole, uh, did you like that Air Jordan that Patrick did? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, huh? Um, He didn't spike it, but he already crossed the plane with possession. Then the ball got knocked out, so it didn't matter. It was like technically, like, if that wasn't crossing the end zone, like the goal line, that was a fumble. But he had possession when the ball crossed the plane. And that's a touchdown. That's why he did that. He wouldn't have done anything that dangerous if the end zone wasn't there. I mean, maybe, John. Somebody just said the Broncos have not allowed over 300 yards this season. But he could get 350 yards in the air this weekend. It's going to be a tall order. But he could do it. Cole, out of the remaining games, which scares you most? Um, I mean, we still play the Raiders... I know we play the Broncos twice, but we play the Seahawks, play the Texans. Any divisional game makes me a bit nervous. I know the Chiefs have had the Broncos number for seven years, but, you know, can't sleep on them. 
Can't sleep on the Seahawks. I think we could win out, to be honest, but the Seahawks will be a tough one, I think. And the Raiders, bro. I mean, dude, the Raiders are kind of on a heater, man. Not like, not like on like a hot, hot heater, but they've won like two or three games in a row. And remember, Monday Night Football against the Raiders earlier this season, we won by one point. The Chiefs won by one point. <laughs> and that was with them driving down at the end of the game and Devontae Adams and Hunter Renfro running into each other. Yeah, it was that close. I'm here. Creed wins. Creed wins in a fight. This is just a test. What up, Sapphire? I hated seeing Fortson go down last year. Yeah, and the Bell Dozer go down this year. Yeah, in preseason. Because I'd love to see what Andy would do with four tight end sets. That would have been nuts. I don't know when Blake Bell's coming back. Yeah, in some games, we when we struggle getting to the QB, like specifically Joe against the Bengals, yeah, no corner can hold on forever, especially when you have Joe Burrow, who's a dog, and he has quite possibly the best wide receiver trio in the NFL. Yeah. Hey, you're welcome, Jessica. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah, he was a stud wrestler. It would be Creed. That's probably who's winning. Yeah, you're right. Caden, how do you feel after losing a big game? Ooh, how do you feel after losing a big game in the playoffs? Because when we went to the AFC Championship against the Patriots, I cried. Caden, appreciate you, man. Um, hmm. I think I was I've been the the most crushed ever when the Chiefs got blown out by the Bucks in the Super Bowl. The AFC Championship game against the Bengals hurt. I was there, but it didn't sting as bad as the Super Bowl loss, man. I think it's just something about once you make it to the game. And then it's just that bad. It was bad. Barry with the 10 bomb. What's up, Barry? Good game, but refs made bad calls. Yeah, I mean, there, there was some bad calls. Yeah, there was some. I, I don't blame the refs for the loss, but there were some bad calls. I mean, or questionable calls, whatever you want to call it. There was a few. At least a couple. On one drive, on that like early drive in particular. Yeah, can't underestimate the Broncos. Um, yeah, I mean... They have a really good defense, man. And I'm a little bit nervous and a little bit like in some regard, I'm nervous because the Chiefs defense is they just love to give up points, man. They love to give up touchdowns in the red zone. They love to give up touchdowns overall. Now, that would mean Russell Wilson and company have to get to the red zone. <laughs> Their O-line's not good. Russell Wilson's not mobile like he used to be. For all intents and purposes, I think the Chiefs win this game. But yeah, you, you got to be really careful. Flip with the five. When the Chiefs win Sunday's game against the Doncos, we will clinch our division. Um, We will clinch our division flip if the Dolphins win. Who are the Dolphins playing? I think if the Dolphins win uh, Dolphins game Sunday. If the Dolphins beat the Chargers... On Sunday, and the Chiefs beat the Broncos. The division is ours and it's sealed. Thanks for the five, brother. Yeah, I think Creed was. Oh, darn. Yeah. Why don't the Chiefs ever dictate the flow of the game? <laughs> Seems like the Chiefs always have to adjust. Yeah, good question, man. Or Reese. Good question, Reese. Um, I don't freaking know. They're, I mean, they've done it a few times. It's been against NFC teams. They dominated the Cardinals, the Bucks, and the 49ers. And then the Rams game was never close. Even though they were one and six in the red zone. Yeah, Barry, appreciate that. Flip, thanks for the five. I would love to see the rank of the defense ever since Spags took over. Haven't seen any improvements since the Super Bowl. Oh, that's a good question. Um, hey, Zeus, I could probably look into that eventually here. You want Cole to do his own top 10 power rankings? Dude, people have been saying that. I'm not opposed to doing one. I could try it. Yeah, definitely could.
Uh, hardest case he lost was the indie game with the kicker who should not be named. The no punt game was rough too, but man, that Super Bowl, yeah, Super Bowl was pretty bad. Whew. Yeah, I hope he doesn't take his foot off the pedal. I mean, the problem is, I don't know. The Chiefs defense have given up a lot. There was this crazy stat by uh, Dan Harms. If I could pull up his his uh, tweet real quick. Let's see. He said, let me see if I can find it. It was crazy. It was a crazy stat. Where is it? Okay, here it is. The Chiefs have, okay, listen to this, guys. Actually, you know what? I'm going to screenshot it. And then I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drag it into the screen so you guys can read it with me because this one's crazy. And it kind of, some of it's a bit puzzling to me and a bit troubling. I'm going to pull this in so you guys can see it. All right, look at this. The Chiefs have scored. All right, here we go. The Chiefs have scored fewer than seven points in the first quarter in seven of their 12 games this season. Then they have le- they've had leads in the fourth quarter of every game that they've lost. All right, so let's talk about that for a second. The Chiefs have scored fewer than seven points in the first quarter in seven of their 12 games a season. That means the Chiefs have not been effective in their scripted plays, man, on, in seven of these games. Like, those are the scripted plays you come out with and you're supposed to strike while the iron's hot. Now... They've had a lead in the fourth quarter of every game that they've lost. That spells bad things for the defense and their inability to close out games. I mean, that you know that's a scary one. And it just made me think about it when you said, why does Spags take his foot off the pedal? I don't know that it's intentional. I don't know what it is. But it's definitely concerning. Definitely concerning. Baz, if you go back to the beginning, um, I talk a little bit more about Justin Reed and what he tweeted, but this is what he said. He said this this morning. It'd be cool to compare your power rankings every week to Grossi's top 10. Yeah, Perna does one too. Yeah, when it's grim, be the grim reaper. Yeah, I hope it's not a trap game, but Denver's defense is the real deal. I mean, they're a really good defense. Uh, One-eyed Ellis. They really are. Let's do it. Cole's power ranking. If you were looking for news, yeah, rewind to the beginning of the stream. Yep, yep, yep. I don't think I'm streaming with Perna for the game. I mean, we haven't talked about that at all, and I haven't really asked. Like, he's the guy with the huge platform, so I'm not going to be like, yo, bro, you want to stream together? So I wouldn't think so because we're in the same division. I I don't think he would want to do that, to be honest, but I'm not opposed to it. Yo, saw you on uh, That's Good Sports video today. Can't believe a Broncos fan allowed that. (laughs) <laughs> dude i sent it to him for review and i said hey if you want me to change anything i can and he said perfect and i was like all right so yeah that was super nice of him i mean to give me just that platform but yeah i, I kind of trolled the broncos man just saying saying you know well are the chiefs gonna get 14 wins <laughs> or can russell wilson actually get into the end zone and help his team get enough points to beat mahomes for the first time in his career you guys want to see that video? Oh, you guys just got to go over and watch it. I don't want to take... You guys got to go watch it sometime. I got a segment in there. Uh, I didn't I didn't see that, Aaron. Aaron Powell, what up, man? I didn't see that about Nick Wright. But what do I think about Nick Wright? He guaranteed the Chiefs will win out. Um, hmm. I mean, to guarantee it, it's kind of... You know. People be saying stuff for views, man. I like Nick Wright, but he sometimes be saying stuff that's like, how can you guarantee that the Chiefs are going to win five more games and six more games guaranteed? They should win those. They also should have beat the Colts. They also could have beat the Bills. They also could have beat the Bengals, and they didn't. (laughs) So, I mean, if they find themselves making mistakes in a game, don't capitalize in the red zone, have a turnover or two. It could be anybody's game. So they got to come out firing. They do have a relatively easy schedule. When you look at the teams that they're playing, they should win them all. I could, I'm not going to sit here and guarantee it, but they should. Holly's back. Guess who's back? 
uh, back again. Yeah, Holly's back. Tell a friend. All right, enough of that. Fits nuts. What up, brother? Thanks for the five. I learned at 48, you can't trust a fart. <laughs> it's not cheese related. Oh, your beard has that Pantene bounce. I don't even think it moves, to be honest. But, dude, yeah, you got to be careful out there. Thanks for the five. You're crazy, bro. Uh, you're cool. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to lose against Denver, no. <laughs> we shouldn't lose against Denver. But I'm not also going to say that it could be like a lower scoring kind of a drag out game. Because the, the, the Broncos can't score anyway. They average like 14 points a game, maybe 13.5 at this point. Horrible. Worse in the league. But the Broncos defense is really good. I could see them holding to Mahomes and company, you know, holding Mahomes and company to a field goal sometimes in the red zone. Or I could see the Chiefs punting a few times. I still think they're going to win, but I think it could possibly be a lower scoring game. Yo, what up, Jordan? Hey, Cole, your video. Uh, can you please make a video about the Chiefs offseason preview cap space extension free agent? Oh, yeah, for sure. In the offseason, we're going to do a bunch of stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Appreciate that, Jordan. <laughs> You're crazy, man. Elijah. Welcome back, brother. I was laughing at this. Don't trust a fart after a loss. Yeah, don't do it. Uh, who would you want for a head coach when Andy retires? That's a good question. I mean, if he retired this season unexpectedly, give me Sean Payton. Outside of that, I don't know. You know, we'd have to wait and see. Sorry for the spamming. Uh, but it says for the Discord, done reading, check out other channels. Do you know how long it lasts for? I don't know what your question means exactly, Danny, but the, the Discord... You stay active in Discord as long as you have a membership. So it'll be a month. Uh, you could, Holly, but no pressure from me. I mean, maybe the second game I'll ask. We'll see. I, I'm i not opposed to it. <laughs> Denver sucks. Their defense is good. Top five, legit. But their offense is god-awful. It's, it's bad. Their O-line is, yeah, they're beat up. They're very beat up. Hope they're not psyched out. Yeah, Carol, same. I hope not either. I mean, that was a tough loss against the Bengals that just happened, and they've been pre prepping for them. Shout out again to the great mods. Dude, yeah, shout out to the mods, man. Flip, Holly, Lego. Who else is in here? Huck in here, I think. I'm probably forgetting somebody. I can't see check marks on the, in the chat on my, on my stream platform. Yeah, the Chiefs have lost three games this year for a total of 10 points. So they lost to the Bengals by three. They lost to the Bills by four. They lost to the Colts by three. And three plus four plus three equals 10. So that's pretty crazy. I would like that Super Bowl mini. Chiefs and uh, Eagles, that'd be fun. What's your take on Nick Wright's prediction? Oh, I, I just answered that. I mean, I, I don't know. Somebody said he guaranteed the Chiefs were going to win out. Can't guarantee it. But we do have a relatively easy schedule. We should. That'd be nice. I mean, I like that. Kafka. You think we could get him back from the Giants? I mean, I would have liked to see him step up as OC. Yeah. I mean, didn't work out. He's with the Giants now. James said, I guarantee we're going to win the rest of our games. All right, all right, bet, bet. Tim Grunhard for head coach. <laughs> Eric. Let's go, dude. Hey, if Saturday can do it, man. I mean, Frick, let's just... Tony Gonzalez for head coach. Come on. Uh, Andy Reid. <laughs> Messing up. Cocky. What was that McKinnon uh, red zone call? Oh, uh, McKinnon out of Wildcat when Mahomes went out in, in uh, as a wide receiver? Bro, I don't, I don't know what that was, bro. <laughs> that was crazy. Cole loved the deep dive on stats. Vid today. Loved it. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ellis. Yeah, we'll be doing those every now and again. That's not for everybody, but like after a loss, sometimes you really got to dig deep and be like, where did teams, like, where did the Chiefs really go wrong? You know, some people were, were kind of getting on to me during the live stream and stuff like that saying, you're too soft on the Chiefs. It's like, well, 
I'm not going to have a knee jerk overreaction and start going off on people and players. If I'm not like, if I'm just not exactly sure what's going on, like I call the game live right here for you guys. So dude, I'm calling the game, trying to communicate it as good as I can responding to chat. Like what? So what I did after that is I watched the game again. Then I watched the coaches film. Then I took notes and dove into stats. So yeah, I mean, I try not to like just straight up throw anybody under the bus initially until I can dig in. And even, even then I'm, I'm still not trying to throw anybody under the bus. I'm trying to be constructive. Like, bro, you heard the stats I just read on Justin Reed. Those aren't good stats. You heard the stats I read on Orlando Brown Jr. and Andrew Wiley. And or, or, Orlando Brown Jr. has given up 39 pressures this season, the most in the NFL no, for a tackle. And Andrew Wiley is second with 37. It. So I'm definitely just bringing the stats up and I'm showing them. I don't got to throw the guy under the bus. Not when you read the stats and show the coach's film. Kind of just speaks for itself. Yo, Eric with the five. Jay Reed had a groin spasm in his head. <laughs> also, Denver will get destroyed because the Chiefs are pissed off from that loss. Also, oh man, Bolts fam, that's right. Bolt fam, that's right. <laughs> Eric, thanks for the five, bro. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> I hope it's not that close, but could be, Jay. Oh, that's good. Okay, awesome, Holly. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, K. Wayne. K. Wayne's in here. I don't know if Darth Bane was in here at all, but yeah, K. Wayne, the freaking trucker maniac driving all around. He'll be hopping in the member Zoom calls in his truck. I'll be like, where are you at? I think he was like in, Can were you in Canada last month? Canada. Canada? What the freak? Canada? We're just making up places right now. There he is. Sorry, I, I don't have a list of the blue checks over here. Eric said, got your number? Uh, Hodor from Game of Thrones. It's got the click going. Uh, Bingles back to the Super Bowl for the win. We in our we are in our click. Like a C L I Q U E, like like West Side? 40, 43rd Street. Thug Nuggets or what up, man? What are you talking about? GG's though. Uh, Bingles are a good team. I've I've said that in every video I've ever done. You know, respect to Burrow, respect to the the wide receiver trio. So yeah, man. I mean, it was a good game. You guys uh, got the dub. I mean, frick, dude, beat the Chiefs three times in the same year, man. The new, 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 new worst game ever. Yeah, that was crazy, man. That that'll be Perna's. Well, hopefully, that won't be one of the worst game ever. We'll see. We lost all three bingo games by, yeah, three points. Yeah. 31 to 34 last year in the regular season. 24 to 27 AFC Championship, 24 to 27 last Sunday. Yup. You're right. Brand. Broncos have only allowed the Raiders to score over 23 points. One more 20 bomb bet for the weekend. Win or lose if the Chiefs put up 30 plus points. All right. Bet. Well, what's the two bets again, Brand? Uh, Mahomes going over 350 and then going, uh, Chiefs scoring over 30. I was going to look up. Yeah. Let me look this up real quick. Broncos pro football reference. I want to look up the Broncos, like how many, how many points they average allowed per game. All right. Broncos. Here it is. Okay. The Broncos. Where is it at? Yeah, their defense is good. Uh, They're second in points per game allowed. Like the second best. I don't have the exact number. I'd have to do math. And I'm live streaming. Matt Castle for quarterback coach. Okay, I deserve to be the <laughs> seeking lifeboat. Oh, no. Yeah, that's true, K. Wayne. The bad thing is we'll probably not be able to rest our starters. Oh, yeah, you're talking last game of the season. That's unfortunate if so. Cole, I would take Sean Payton if Andy retires. He wanted Mahomes in the draft. Oh, yeah, he was super high on Mahomes. Uh-huh. Yeah, he said he's the best player he's ever, he's ever seen. 
that he's ever looked at in the draft. My Dominic said, man, my friends keep telling me that Joe Shiesty owns us and I can't even argue. Yeah, I mean, what are you supposed to say? I mean, Mahomes owns 31 other teams. I, it's like, now I now we know sometimes how it feels to be another team. Like, dude, imagine being the Broncos and you've lost to the Chiefs for seven years straight. I mean, imagine just being a team that sucked for years. Now, the Chiefs obviously had their rough spot for years and years, but since Andy Reid's been here, it's been they've had winning seasons. But yeah, man, we get a little taste of what it's like being another team on average. If the Chiefs clinch the West, you think they'll start sitting players? If, okay, if they clinch the West and then later down the stretch, first seed is either sealed or first seed is out of reach. I think either way they could. Now, even if the first seed's out of reach, at that point, you're still fighting. You're still fighting for, uh, you know, overall seed in the playoffs, in the postseason. So I, I don't know, man. I don't know if they will. Yo, thanks, Uri. I appreciate that, man. Confused why Justin Reed is talking? <laughs> I don't know. What he, I don't know. His tweet this morning was wild. I don't know what was going on there. If you do a hit stick on Leo Chanel and Madden, you have a 80% chance of a fumble? Okay, that's actually fire. Uh, Violet Kitten, would you ever want to work in the NFL? Are you good from here? Um, hmm. That's a good question. The reason why I'm hesitant right now is because if you work for the NFL, basically you're never home during the season. And I value seeing my family a lot. So I like the freedom and the flexibility of working from home. I don't have to leave. If they want to contract me out to do some stuff, I'm down. But like, like, even going to work for the Chiefs, man. Like, you got to travel to every game, which is fine. But, like, dude, I'll just, I wouldn't see my family during the season. You know what I mean? That's probably the biggest hesitation I have. Uh, possibly, Casey. Possibly. Chiefs have a better team than the Bengals. They lost that game because of offensive game plan. I mean, it's kind of hard to say they have the better team when they've lost three times in, to them in the same year. I think they have plenty of talent and they can beat the Bengals. You know, are they a better team? I, I don't know. But is Mahomes the QB I'd rock with? Yeah. Is Kelsey the tight end I'd rock with? Yeah. Is Coach Reed, Andy Reed, the coach that I'd rock with? Yeah. Maybe that's like an unpopular opinion. But I'm like, dude, until we beat the Bengals, like, they just have our number. We still, like, all three games have been three points, man. We can beat them, but you got to put it together and have a perfect game. Can't be having fumbles. Can't be putting up three in the red zone instead of seven. Can't be missing field goals at the end of the game. The defense can't allow third down conversion, you know, near the end of the game. They can't miss 14 tackles. So, tough. Yo, what up, Aza? Donkeys have one of the best defenses we will face the rest of the season. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. Appreciate your honesty in those post-game videos, even though it's hard to hear. Oh, thanks, Jen. Yeah. I mean, yeah. People won't be happy regardless of what I do. I've seen comments, you know, hope you're not like this after every game. And all I'm doing is trying to be objective and saying what the Chiefs need to work on. You know, then some people say you're not hard enough on them. Well, I'll tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to be on Twitter arguing with players. I'm not going to be doing all that. Like, I'm just a freaking dude that hangs out in my basement and reports on Chiefs news, man. Like, I don't know more than they do. Now, I'll give stats. I'll break some stuff down and say, hey, this, these guys struggled this game. But I'm not about to just rail on people. I was pretty frustrated, like, the Sky Moore thing, when he muffed that third punt. I wasn't even mad at Sky. I was mad at the coaches. Yeah, Canada, we have a new country. We have a new country, man. Canada. (laughs) 
FLDB said, what's your KD on Call of Duty? Bro, I don't know. I haven't even played Call of Duty in like a year. Yeah, the Rams claimed Baker. I don't like people tra killing Travis for his fumble. Man was getting jumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a fluke thing. Pretty unfortunate. Yo, what up, Noble? We have a... I don't... Like, if we have Bengals fans in here, it's fine. But yeah, I mean, if they're just going to spam... Uh, who day? I mean... If you have stuff you want to talk about, that's cool. But I don't even get that anyway. I mean, I think I'd rather legit listen to a, like, I'd just rather watch, like, a political ad right before a, an ad campaign than just read that saying over and over again. So glad we don't have a chant like that, bro. I mean, I got to show you guys this segment I made for Brandon, for Perna, because I, I talk about Bengals fans in there about their Who Day chant. Here, look at this. Look at this. You guys got to see this, man. I'll pull, I'll pull up the segment that I exported. I'll drag it in here, and uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it'll. I can show you guys the part about the, the <laughs> Bengals fans, bro. I think you guys will like it. Let me see what happens if I go. What happens if I do this? If I go here. Can I just drag this video on and play it? Oh, hey there, Perna. I know, I know, not the... Wait, wait, wait. Dude. Why, why won't it play? Huh. How uh, will it play now? Oh, hey there, Perna. I know, I know. Not the guy you want to see. Same year, and now the... Third time in the same year, and now the fan base who, if they were a character from a TV show, would be Hodor from Game of Thrones. And I've heard all about Hodor. Who day? Will not stop spamming my comment section. Anyway, I was feeling pretty... So now every time someone says who day, bro, I just think of freaking Hodor from Game of Thrones. Who day? Who day? Who day? Who day? Who day? Like, yeah, man. So hopefully that brightened your day because that's what I think about uh, when these guys come in, like they got Tourette's with the who day. Like, dude, I give like I give the team props that they won. That's fine. But the who day thing, man. Oh god. Oh man. Oof. <laughs> I'm just skimming through chat for a second. That's why I'm silent. Cole got jokes. I think Mahomes should win MVP. I know it's not priority. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't care if he wins MVP. I think he's one of the front runners for MVP. I'd rather the Chiefs just make another deep postseason run, but... I don't know. I could be wrong, Holly, but the point is... This. Oh, okay. Uh, how, did the, uh, how did the rookies do against the Bengals, and why didn't they use Saunders? Are they hiding plays? Uh, I don't think against the Bengals they were... Hiding a bunch of plays. Oh, uh, when you say why didn't they use Saunders? I mean, Chiefs, Bengals, snap count. He he was in there. Uh, I could tell you his uh, snap count right now. I'm trying to think, Chiefs wire, Chiefs wire. He was definitely used. Let's see, on defense, Colin Saunders played in 33 snaps. Chris Jones played in 61, and then Colin Saunders played the most, the next most amount of snaps for a defensive tackle at 33. 
Naughty played 18, and then Stallworth played 10. So I definitely used him. Um, but how, how do I think the rookies did? I mean, McDuffie played really well. Josh Williams played decent. I mean, tough. I mean, bro, it's a tall order <laughs> against these three receivers, man, with Jamar Chase back. So, yeah, I mean, Pacheco had a good game. It's another rookie. Oh, what position would you be if you could pick from wide receiver or QB? Well, right now, I'd probably pick QB because my body hates me. But back in the day, I was like 6'2", 195. Probably be a receiver. That'd be fun. I don't know, if, I don't know how fast I am. thought I was fast. But, uh, you know, I'm pretty white, man. So sometimes we're just a little bit slower. <laughs> you know? What do you think the Chiefs record at the end of the season will be? Um, I mean, what are they right now? Nine and three. I mean, my initial prediction prior to the season starting was 12 and five. 13 and four wasn't out of the realm of possibilities. I mean, they could be uh, 14 and three. So 14 and three, 13 and four, somewhere around there. <laughs> Dude, I just don't get it, man. It's fine. It's just like, I don't get it, man. <laughs> Eric Dart, as a Bengals fan, even even if I love the Hootay chant, I still find that Hodor uh, clip hilarious. Bro, I, it's funny, I, I voiceovered him for that <laughs> and put a little echo on it. It was funny, I was just thinking about it. I was like, because dude, after a Chiefs loss, like, let's just be real, Eric, like, that's all I get in my comments, on Twitter, everywhere, it's fine, but... It makes me think sometimes that that's all somebody can say. And I'm like, who's like a person that's like stuck on like with one word? Ride. And it was definitely Hodor. Country, <laughs> let's ride. Hodor. Who day? So, yeah, for sure, man. The Chiefs signed a defensive tackle, boss. Um, Yes, they, they signed Brandon Williams. That was last week, though. Why are all these guys getting timed out? Maybe they're getting yelled at. Maybe they're yelling. You guys don't have to, you guys really don't need to just time people out for no reason. I mean, I, I'm looking at these messages. Nobody's really saying anything. The salt in here is thick? Ah, dude, I mean, I literally said in my preview video, man, Bengals are a great team. It's going to be a very hard fought game. And the Chiefs lost by three. And. I'm not, I'm not really salty. You can look at like my post game vid. You can look at, yeah. I mean, I did like two post game vids. Really, I'm not really salty, man. I mean, I'm a troll and I, I like operate on dry humor <laughs> for a living, but I'm not salty. Like I went to the bed fine last night, chilling, bro. Like I've been a Chiefs fan my whole life, and I've seen a lot of losses, man. Like for years and years. I mean, this is the best time to be a Chiefs fan ever. Would I have wanted the win? Yeah. Dominate every time we touch the field, baby. But I mean, do what we do. you know, hats off to the Bengals, man. Okay. Uh, Raphael with the five. I'm seriously enjoying seeing George doing well as the season gets better. I hope he develops into that defense uh, stalwart we need. Love the content. Raphael, thanks for the five, man. Five Canadian. Let's go, dude. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, George is continuing to get better. Just he's gonna get better with reps. And that's what they're throwing them all over the place, man. And I love it. Mark S with the two. Do you think Kadarius Tony will ever return? Uh, my hope is for the po like by the postseason, I would hope so. McDuffie can't contest 50 50 balls due to his size, but he kind of showed you how he can do it. He pinned him to the sideline. He did it twice against in the Bengals game. Once in the end zone, and then once uh, on the sideline with Jamar Chase. Both of those guys caught it, but McDuffie gave him no room, and then they couldn't get both feet down and bounce. And he did it he did it twice. So he doesn't he doesn't necessarily have to if he's up on the sideline like that. He just uses the sideline to his advantage. Yo. 
Thanks for that two bomb, brother. I, I mean, hopefully Kadarius Tony returns by uh by the postseason, man. Stallworth is not the problem. I mean, okay, Stallworth is gone. <laughs> uh, so he's definitely not the problem now. As a Bengals fan, legit, this is Sunday's story. Can we beat the Browns? You guys, like, I don't even know. Like, somebody said you guys can't beat the Browns, but it, I'm sure you've beat the Browns before. But, as like, when's the last time you've actually beat the Browns? Because I just don't know the answer. When's the last time? What happened to McColl? He's out on IR with a, a groin spasm. When will we see Kennard? Probably next year, Roger. Yeah. Where will we see him? I don't know. I mean, right tackle, possibly. If not, he's going to be a guard. Yeah, Stephon Gilmore's had a great season. He was a good signing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Oh, who do you think Melvin Gordon... Wait, wait, wait. Do you think Melvin Gordon will see any playtime this season? Ah... Uh... I mean, the only way that would have happened, in my opinion, is if Jarek McKinnon didn't play Sunday and CEH is out on IR. If McKinnon's healthy, Rojo... Like, Rojo is doing exactly what I said he would do. He's suiting up and barely touching the ball. <laughs> I mean, lit, you know, it's like... So Melvin Gordon, if he's suited up, he ain't touching the ball. He doesn't even know the system. So, highly unlikely he gets any real play time. Unless CEH is still on IR... And Pacheco or McKinnon go down, then he's at least going to get called up and dress out. Yeah, McDuffie for his size, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, he's 5'11, Jamar Chase is six foot, but dude, Jamar Chase has the vertical of a gazelle getting chased by 15 mountain lions. <laughs> I mean, like, he can freaking jump, man. I, I like Jamar Chase. I mean, People ask, like, who's your favorite Who's your favorite team outside of the Chiefs? I don't really have one. I just like watching great players, great athletes. So I've always liked watching Jamar Chase, bro. He's a freak. You know, you got to give props where props is due, and he is, he is insane, man. He really is. Oh, uh, they've beat us four games in a row now. Since he, Cleveland is already a ridiculous game for whatever reason. I mean, God, dude. I, I wouldn't root for y'all in most games because, like, I want you guys to lose, you know, because if if we have the same record as, as y'all by the end of the season, obviously you get the tiebreaker, blah, blah, blah. But, dude, I might just freaking root for the Bengals against the Browns. Hear me out. Deshaun Watson, I mean, that whole situation is so bad. That organization is so terrible. I could, like, dude, I don't think I could bring it to myself to root for the Browns. Maybe I'll just watch it. And don't care who wins. But it's just like, I, I would get zero joy in seeing Deshaun Watson win that game. Literally zero. I'll get, to, I'll get zero joy seeing Deshaun Watson ever winning a game for the rest of his career. Literally zero joy. Chad Henney got to go and put up his cleats. Oh, he's probably gone after this season, would be my guess. <laughs> Kitten, what are you saying? What's going on? Yeah, but if we're this good with so many new players, think about next year. Yeah, I mean, hey, Jordan. Um... Welcome. Maybe you've already been in here, but I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I mean, the Chiefs' defense is, I think, the youngest defense in the NFL. So, a lot, a lot of upside there. Very, very young secondary. Trey McDuffie, rookie. Jalen Watson, rookie. Joshua Williams, rookie. Brian Cook, rookie. That's four in the secondary. So, yeah, a lot of upside there. Pacheco's got upside. Sky Moore, we should definitely see more out of him next year. Score prediction for Broncos. I'll have a better one on Friday for my prediction video and live stream, but I mean, I predict the Chiefs win. Do they win by... <laughs> I have this feeling it could be this weird, low scoring Chiefs score 20, Broncos scored nine, and they make three field goals. I mean, hopefully it's, you know, it's a very relaxing victory. I would like the Chiefs to put up 30 plus so it's fun. But I don't know. 
What do you guys think? That, what are you guys predicting right now, Chiefs and Broncos? Let me know. Like right now, I know it could change before the end of the month. Donkos going down. Yo, I'll never forget when I said that in that stream. The Donkos. We made a new word. Jessica, appreciate you. Uh, should we rest Mahomes against the Broncos? Mm, no. I mean, not unless. Okay, so I'm going to change my battery, but I'll keep talking. Not unless, like, if the Chiefs want to rest Mahomes, it's going to be because his bruised foot. So he got a bruised foot at the end of the Bengals game, guys. I don't know, like, how messed up it really is. But we're going to have to find out because he said in an interview yesterday with Carrington Harrison that he does have a bruised foot and ankle. How bruised is it? I don't know. But this would be a good team to sit him out against if he had to. This is a game where Chad Henney could very well win it. Run the ball. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Denver's, Denver's defense is really good, too. So that's a tough one. I got confidential information... I can't talk. I got confidential information about Kennard next year, and he is most likely to play right tackle, and Tooney is likely to play left? <clears throat> oh, that's crazy. I mean, Tooney's not ideal for left tackle, but he might play better than... I don't know. He could play better than what's going on now. I, I don't know. Now, I know the reason why they drafted Kennard was to take a stab at a right tackle prospect. So, yeah, I could see that happening next year. I like that. I like that. Uh, if my Bengals beat the Bills, we'll be in first place again. Maybe the rematch will come y'all's way. When do you guys play the Bills? I'm going to stream that game because that game would be a lot of fun, I think. It's not for, for like weeks, right? When do you guys play the Bills, Nick? Boz, I mean, I, I'm not even going to get into it. I, I've talked about it enough on this channel, and this is a Chiefs channel, but um, you got that many people coming forward, brother? Um, yeah, he's a piece of garbage, to put it lightly. Used to miss Tyreek, not anymore? Oh, I mean, I miss Tyreek. But the Chiefs are still doing fine without him. You think the donkeys get a safety? <laughs> God, dude, I hope not. Please, no. Oh, here we go. We got some predictions. 21-10 Chiefs, 27 13 62-2. 44-10, 24-12. Yeah, 62-2. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's bad, Ryan, about... Yeah, super bad, man. Chiefs 23-17. to 42-3. Holy smokes. The, the Broncos have never... What's the most the Broncos have let a team score this, this season? Because they're good. Broncos schedule. When I say the Broncos are good, I'm specifically talking about their defense. Let's see. The most a team has put up on the Broncos. Well, the Raiders, just this year, the Raiders put up 32. But since then, the Colts put up 12. The Chargers put up 19. The Jets put up 16. The Jags put up 17. The Titans, 17. Raiders, 22. Panthers, 23. Then the Ravens, 9. God, dude, if the Panthers can put up 23, the Chiefs are putting up 69. What are we talking about? Thirty-five to seventeen. Jackson said, "Guarantee Kennard starts at right tackle." I mean, I would assume they give him the nod, right? But you've got to, you've got to, you've got to earn that, right? If Lucas Niang is still here because he's he, he's still on his rookie deal, you got to earn it. But hey, I, I mean, I'm rooting for the guy, Hulk Smash, man. We call him Darian Hulk, Hulk Smash Kennard, bro, on this channel. So I'd like that. Safeties are trash. Mahomes and Kelsey are pissed and will shred that defense. Isn't that crazy, Ryan? Yeah, that game was nuts. They almost, the Ravens almost lost, but they had their backup QB in, but still. Sheesh. 
You're not my real dad. How about those Chiefs? Let's go. Oh, New Year's Day. Ooh. Well, the Chiefs play on New Year's Day. Dang, I'll have to see what time that game is. Maybe I could stream, stream them both. We'll see, though. Okay, yeah, week 17. Dang. <laughs> Durant said, I'm a man of faith as you are, but I can say that I'm worried to death about the fact we can't beat the Bengals. Um, we'll just, just take it a game at a time, a week at a time. I mean, dude, it's not like, it's not like the Chiefs have lost to the Bengals by 30 points every game. It's a three-point game. Now, obviously... The Bengals, uh, oh, what's his name? Was it Tyler Boyd dropped a walk-in touchdown? You know, stuff happens in these games, man. You got to come out firing on all cylinders. The Chiefs have lost by three in all three games. It's, it's you know, could have gone either way. I, I think they're freaking tough. I mean, it's going to be hard. I don't think it's impossible that the Chiefs can win. If we played the, you know, if we played them three times this year and we've lost all three times by three scores, then it's like, all right, well, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> but it's gone down on the wire all three games. AFC Championship was overtime, and the Chiefs got the ball first in overtime, bro. So, yeah, definite. You know, it's not impossible, although it's a bit, it's a tall order right now. I miss Tyreek's peace signs and backflips. So how bad is the foot? We don't know yet, Jaquin. He said it's not that bad, but he made it seem like he still had to get it looked at. Uh, maybe Agam, Agam. I would assume the Chiefs dry, uh, no matter what, draft a safety next year. I don't know, like, what round. I would assume that they do, though. Oh, Bills and Bengals, January 2nd, 8.30 p.m. Oh, I'm going to stream that game. Oh, yeah. That'll be a good game. Yeah, it's going to be cold. I'm going to stream from my basement with the heater on. <laughs> you any good at NBA Jam or Blitz? I don't, I don't know about that. Blitz was fun, though. Would they ever take back Tyreek? Yeah, I mean, I don't think he like legit like burned his bridge, but, dude, they're not going to pay what he's getting in Miami. If he wants to come back and retire a chief, I definitely see that happening. But here's the thing. With Tyree gone, if the Chiefs lock up, like if they draft another receiver, they lock up Juju, maybe bring in somebody. Like They'd probably be like, oh, man, Tyreek, we'd love to have you back. But, dude, you left. Like We've already filled it. You know what I mean? It's not impossible, but it'd be pretty unlikely. At, or now. Yeah, he was a blast to watch, yeah. He really was, Jordan. Chiefs could put up 40 points against the Broncos with Kelsey at QB. Willie says 35 to 17. That's why I'm putting $20 on it. It's possible. Only one team has done it. Wait, what are you talking about, Brand? $20 on, uh, oh, on over uh, 300 yards? I think the Chiefs draft next year. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely going for tackle. Some of it depends on the Orlando Brown situation, like, or if they, you know, do they acquire somebody in the offseason? Free agency, a trade? I think regardless of left tackle, they're going for a right tackle. Or they're going for a tackle of some sort, even for depth. Like a lot of their tackles on, on the roster right now are on one-year deals. Kennard, someone was in chat saying Kennard is for sure starting next year. I mean, he could be the guy. But that doesn't mean they couldn't have depth and, and create some nice competition. Definitely a D-line. Def I mean, I would imagine a safety, a wide receiver. Now, what what rounds? I don't know. You think they'd prioritize the lines earlier than some of these? Here's the thing. Brett Veach and company, they have their, their grades on certain players. And if there's a player available that has a higher grade than their draft round that they're in, they will sometimes pivot and make some crazy swing. Like Trent McDuffie, when he was available, he had a true round one grade by Brett Veach and his team. They said, freaking, hey, dude, he's available. We're going to, I mean, he's available here. We're going to trade up and get him. We got the draft capital. So I don't think they went into the draft thinking we're going to trade up no matter what for a cornerback. I don't think that's what they, they didn't go in there thinking that. 
It's also going to be in KC, man. That's going to be fun. Uh, Cole, we now know how Niner fans feel. Uh, we never lose to them. Yeah, yeah, right? Uh, f <laughs> Flip, I mean, me and, me and Perna have not talked about that at all. I don't, as of right now, I'm not planning on it. We haven't talked about it. We're collabing this week, though, like on some video content stuff, but that's about it. Is it safe to say Townsend will throw another pass before the end of the regular season? Could be against the Donkeys, Luca. He has a good arm. Has Lamar Jackson reached the ceiling? He should have signed a deal, man. He really should have. I don't know if he's reached the ceiling. And what more can he really do? The only thing he can really do is just get better at passing because he's already a freak athlete. But he's not going to be able to do that for the rest of his career. You want a long career in the NFL? You know, work on the pocket presence, work on the fundamentals. I mean, same stuff Mahomes is working on. Pocket presence, fundamentals, you know, read progression, like that kind of stuff. Uh, where is Tony? He's uh, dealing with this hamstring injury still. It got re-aggravated. I might be spending New Year's in Florida due to a planned trip that will possibly go longer than expected, so I'm hyped about that. Oh, let's go, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'll be on. Uh, Stallworth was released, Brian, in my opinion, because they're going to bring up Brandon Williams, who they signed last week. That's my best guess. Yeah, it's one of those matchups where they can go either way, kind of like the Bills. Yeah. You hit the nail on the head, brother. I believe they should have probably will rest Patrick, and if so, I believe it will be. Are you talking about against the Broncos? They might. I, I don't... I would think right now, like, they're gonna... If Mahomes can play, he's playing. Oh, yeah, that's that's fire, Holmes. That'll be a good game, dude. So, Stallworth did get released. He does have to clear waivers. If no other team claims him, the Chiefs may very well put him, like, sign him to the practice squad. But he has to clear waivers first. Yeah, I mean, some of it, yeah, it just kind of depends, like, are they keeping Frank Clark? Are they extending Chris Jones? Is he going to be around? Like, I would think so on at least Chris Jones, possibly Frank Clark as well. And then what are the what's the tackle situation like? You know, and th something we're not even taking into consideration right now, which I hope doesn't happen, but injuries. Still got many games left, man. I hope everybody stays healthy, but dude, you got someone like a, again, I'm not, I'm not going to say a name. I'm going to say Lucas Niang. You got like a Lucas Niang type injury. Remember, Lucas Niang got injured last season, I think on the, wasn't it the last regular season game? And dude, that, that, that changed his career, possibly. So you've got to just hope all these players stay healthy and then we're just basing it off that. But that's another factor in how the Chiefs could draft. <laughs> dude, Anthony, I don't know. I think it's because the 49ers defense is that good. MVS reminds me so much of D-Rob. Highest of highs and lowest of lows sometimes, right, Dave? Do I want a new wide receiver? Not for this season, per se. Next year, I mean, MVS has an out. McCole Hardman's on his rookie deal, or his uh, contract year right now. He's at the last year of his rookie deal. Um, Justin Watson's on a one-year deal. I would imagine we sign him back. Sky Moore will be here, but Juju's on a one-year deal. So it just kind of depends. Yeah, you're right, Jordan, about... The Chiefs are pretty conservative about bringing uh, hurt players back. Yeah. What's if Kelsey don't fumble again? Eh, that was pretty fluke. That was a pretty fluke thing, man. Think about it. Kelsey's the most targeted player on the team, most yards, most TDs, most yards after catch. Like, you know, so the fumbles, it's unfortunate, but it's going to happen sometimes. How do we ask questions? Just like that. If you put question marks before your question, I see it better. What's up, Zersky? <laughs> I 
<laughs> no more drafting running backs in the first round. Yeah, let's not let's not do that. You're 100 percent going to night one of the draft. That's fire. What do you think about Tom Baby possibly going back to the Patriots? No way. That's a thing. That's like a rumor. There's no way, dude. What up, Caesar? How you doing, brother? Chief sucks. Psych. <laughs> Psych. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. Bro, what the freak? Is that Kim Possible? What is that? Cole, this is a Chris Jones of YouTube. Freaking boom. Let's go, dude. Appreciate that, man. D Whoa, dude. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is in here. I wish our demons. <laughs> what is this so dog? Sometimes the Bengals always make us look worse. Dude, first off, Dwayne Johnson, I'm a big freaking fan of you, man. Uh, if you ever want to come on the channel and talk Chiefs, like, you're welcome to come onto this channel. But um, I understand that the Chiefs defense struggled. We've talked about that in some videos. But another thing we got to do is really give props to the Bengals, man. I said before the game, these guys are for real. Joe Burrow has the second most touchdowns in the NFL outside of Patrick Mahomes. You know, he he struggled early, but he was dealing with that uh the re the recovery from that surgery that happened, I think what, during preseason maybe or the very end of training camp, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, they're they're good. So they're gonna slice you and dice you. Now, the Chiefs had 14 missed tackles. I mean, that's unacceptable. You know, only getting only sacking Burrow once. That's that's unacceptable. It just is. I understand that Burrow is kind of serpenty. And is kind of can kind of slither his way around. He's done that a bunch of times, but you know you got to get home, man. What up, King James? Hello, I'm a, I'm a little mad. YouTube didn't notify me when you're on. Either way, oh, what's up, man? I mean, if this helps you, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central, I go live. Every Friday, 2 p.m. Central, I go live. So if that helps you, I'm always live on those times. Uh, I mean, I trust Bucker. He struggled after the ankle injury, but dude, the last three games. He made like freaking, I don't know, like eight field goals and eight point or eight extra points. And he missed one at the end, but he's been nearly perfect outside of that one. That was a low snap and a weird hold. He should have made it. I know he missed it, but. Dolphin signed Eric Fisher. No freaking way. What? You got to be kidding me. Eric Fisher. The Dolphins have signed former first-round pick Eric Fisher. I didn't even notice that. So the Eric Fisher si signing signals a few things. They plan on being very cautious with uh, Teron Armstead, or he's set to miss more than a couple weeks. He's a left tackle, not right. He's one of the best run-blocking tackles in the league. Hey, man, happy for Fish, man. I didn't even know that. I don't know if Mahomes is good to go, Caesar. I have no idea. We have no injury report out. We have no updates yet. We'll get one tomorrow. Yeah, probably so, Ryan. Where does he go? That's the question. Hey, if the Chiefs could afford him, let's bring him. Bro, could you imagine running like, uh, like, bro, having Lamar in the backfield, Mahomes pitches it to him, freaking Lamar. Yeah, that would never happen. The salary cap is a real thing. And, dude, Lamar Jackson wants an ungodly amount of money. But that would be so fun. Be so fun, man. Yo, the Joka. The freaking Joka emotes, man. They're the best. The only pass I want to see is the pass behind the back. I mean, dude, imagine a Chiefs offense with the Broncos defense. I don't even know if the corners are the problem, man. I think the safeties have been struggling. The D-line has struggled at times. I mean, the, the cornerback room, like, you know, they are all rookies, so they're going to struggle. They have struggled at times. Trent McDuffie was out on IR. Remember that. He's missed like seven or eight weeks, something like that. He's been good since back. The Red Beard. Hard to get both O-line and defense to be really good. Yeah. Yeah. It is hard. Very hard. Next year, move Brown over to right tackle and draft or sign a left tackle. Yeah, I don't think Brown will play right tackle. 
I don't think it's going to happen. That's why he got out of Baltimore. He said, I ain't playing right tackle. I'm a left tackle. I mean, his dad was a left tackle. His dad passed away. It means a lot to him. Left tackles get paid more money. I don't know if he play right tackle, bro. Yeah, you probably uh, could tag and trade him, I guess. If that's what, if, you know, he's like, if that's how it went down, yeah. Gilmore would have been a good signing. <laughs> Cole, are you a natural? Oh, I, I was okay. Are you a natural ginger? I mean, my hair is like strawberry blonde, but my, my facial hair is way more red. My mom's maiden name's McCormick, so I'm Irish. Dude, Durian with that 10 bomb. Kansas City. Let's freaking go. Let's go, dude. Thanks for the 10 bomb, man. The Chiefs shouldn't have replaced their secondary from last year. Um, Yeah, I mean, dude, the 49ers offered Charvarius Ward more money, I think, than they were willing to give him. DeAndre Baker had to go. Um, Who else? Who else was back there? Obviously, Honey Badger. They just... They didn't want him back for whatever reason, man. They didn't want him back. I'm sure there's more that I'm missing right now. There is more. Those are a few off the top of my head. Yeah, Night Hunter about Burns. Yeah, if if the if the Jags are moving, they're not going to trade him. I don't know what The Rock would be. Is that who he played for? Was it Miami? That would make sense then. Nah, I don't think that's why it fits nuts. Cole, I think Tom Baby returned to football because Mahomes is so... I mean, dude, even last year, I mean, he could have retired with seven rings and Mahomes had one. Uh, <laughs> He didn't need to come back. He just wanted to come back. That was his only fumble this year. Okay. I thought he had one more. But I think there was a near fumble that was actually ruled incomplete. Dude, MVS catches are all so brutal. How about a graceful over-the-shoulder 60-yard bomb this week untouched? I'd like that. I'd like that. Yeah, they've been some tough ones, man. Some tough drops, but some tough catches. Yeah, we're missing that veteran presence in the secondary. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Alexander. Uh, thoughts on starting Lucas Niang. I don't know if he's ready. They had him in for like one... I think they had him in for one snap last game, man. Uh, how many snaps? Actually, let me, let me see. Yeah, he played one snap at tackle last game. Just one. Yeah, it, it was a strip. Yeah, I'm not really... I don't blame Kelsey for the fumble as much as I credit the man for a great... Strip on the ball. Yeah. We still going to win the Super Bowl? Wow, I like that. Oh my gosh, dude. How many more years is freaking Brady going to play? Uh, Chiefs need 84? Uh, well, Justin Watson's 84, but... It what what's what's Pickens number? Is that who you're talking about? Pickens is 14. No, I don't know who you're talking about, actually. On oh, 84 on Georgia? Maybe that's what you're talking about. Okay, that makes more sense. Are Kelsey and Mahomes a top dynamic duo of all time? Possibly Zersky. Definitely up there. Should we trade away CH and sign Barkley? Uh we should would they'll hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if the Chiefs trade away CH. There's a definite possibility that happens if they're able to get like a late round draft pick for him. But that would mean that they're going to have to draft a running back or have a bring McKinnon back and then another pickup in free agency. I don't know if they would sign somebody as expensive as Barkley. Like I think they're going to ride with Pacheco as their guy and he's on a, his rookie deal. I, I, so I don't know. I don't know about that. Yo, Linda, what up? What's up, Linda? Cole, you're the only one who got my Kim Possible reference. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how. Call me, beat me. Um, it's not like I even watched that show. I know it's gonna. it sounds hella suspect since I'm sitting here saying I know the song but never watched it. Because I never really did. I, so I don't even know how I know it, to be honest. Uh, 
Uh, what up, Matthias? How's it going, man? Madison? Hello, hello. Where is Frank Clark? Uh, I mean, he played. He he uh he's been having a good year. I mean, if I pull up, let's see, if I pull this up and I go to the Chiefs, you guys want to hear something crazy? I could probably make a video on this soon about Frank Clark, to be honest. Let me let me pull this up. Player. Now I want to go uh, by team. I want to click Chiefs. Um, okay, maybe I got to go by position, actually. Are you ready for this? All right, here we go. So. I'm looking up Frank Clark's stats. actually taking longer than I thought it would. All right, Frank Clark. Frank Clark. Yeah, he's been like, dude, he had like seven pressures two games ago. Like that many of the game before. All right. On the season, Frank Clark has had four sacks. 32 total pressures, but he's been suspended for two games. Now, his run defense grade this year is... Wait, where's 2022? Oh, here it is. Yeah, his run defense grade is a 60.3. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I don't know. He's having a decent season. It, it's not like... Like, if they extend the guy, they're not going to pay, like, top money. But he's sneaky, like, been playing it, like, pretty well. Especially against the run. Pretty good. Yeah, he was sick, dude. He popped up on the injury report at the beginning of this game. He does have some stomach issue. Yeah, he does. Sorry, that took a minute to look up. This team will be built for a Super Bowl run next year. Yo, flip with the five. Hot take. OBJ is only as good as he is a left tackle in practice as he goes against Frank Clark. <laughs> and rookie cute, uh, corners have to go against Mahomes. Mm. You miss Sorensen? I mean, kitten. I mean, I I like I appreciate his contribution to the kingdom for the however many years he played for the team. Eight years, but he did not have a good year last year. He really struggled bad. It was a pretty bad year for him. John Dorsey was way better in the draft than Veach. Um, I mean, I'd have to pull up a list of their draft picks and stuff, but but Veach has drafted pretty well. I mean, he's had like Breland speaks. Okay, we won't speak. We won't speaks about that one. <laughs> but like, there's been some good ones. Been some solid ones. Trey Smith, good. Creed Humphrey, good. Nick Bolton, Willie Gay, those are all pretty good. Legarius Sneed, I think, was a Veach pick. That's a good one. That's a great one, really. So those are just some off the top of my head that are pretty good. Now, the CEH one was bad. I mean, you know, that was a rough one. Yo, what up, Randy Reed? What up, man? Are there any DBs available right now? I have no idea, to be honest, Nick. Um, are you saying for like the Chiefs to go get? No. I mean, this late in the season, who they got is who they got for the most part. Cole's so busted about being... Bro, I haven't... No, 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 no. <laughs> what did Mary say, Flip? <laughs> What'd you do to old Mary? Well, that's weird. Why is Mary going off on kitten, dude? She's Louise, Mary. Holy Mary, mother of God, mother of rudeness. 
Um, CH was a Patrick pick. Yeah, that's still tough, though, because that, that just didn't work out. And at the end of the day, it goes under Veach, right? Bengals lose to the Browns. Burrow can beat the Chiefs, but he can't beat the Browns. Hey, man, every team has their kryptonite, bro. We struggle against the Titans. For whatever reason, we struggle against the Colts. Any updates on injury? Asked Caden. I mean, not really, man. Um, Andy Reid gave one update after the game. It was Mahomes' foot. And Mahomes confirmed on Monday in an interview with Carrington Harrison that it's bruised. He said, if everything checks out, I'll be good to play Sunday. Keyword, if. I thought I found that interesting. But Coach Reed in his presser on Monday said, hey, I don't have anybody here yet. We haven't convened about injuries. They don't give any media updates on Wednesday. We might not even hear injuries, injury updates from Coach Reed on Wednesday because sometimes he doesn't even speak. They have like other coaches and stuff come in. So we may not, uh, we may not hear an injury update other than just the injury report tomorrow. There's no way y'all still alive. Yeah, I'll probably, I'm going to get off at 1020. Hold me to that, guys. Three minutes. Because I got a, I got a YouTube short to make tonight. Yeah, I got a YouTube short to make tonight. The Bengals will beat the Browns easy. They lost without Chase on a short week. I mean, I think they've lost like five or six weeks in a row. Or five or six games in a row. So they just kind of play them tough. And how is that? Uh... I'll be sure to check back on the YouTube short. Oh, yeah, Caden. Appreciate you, man. I'll try to drop it tonight. If not, it'll be early tomorrow. But I'm going to try to. EB needs to go in an OC with the scheme and can beat the Bengals. Needs to be hired. I mean, the OC is Andy Reid, to be honest, Old Navy. Did you see that they ran numbers and algorithms at ESPN and it came out that the Cowboys are going to win the Super Bowl? Probability wise? Why? That's wild. What? Okay, that's crazy. Uh Nick Bolton. Yeah, Nick Bolton was a good pick. He should make the Pro Bowl. Yeah, Andy Reid doesn't like to speak to the media. He literally said he loves every part about his job except for speaking to the media. He's like, yeah, he, so he hates it. He does it because he has to. Uh, Someone's asked if I'm watching the World Cup. I'm not going to lie, man. I haven't watched a single second. Kareem Hunt will ever forgo, for, forever go down as the dumbest breakup of the balance ever. Dude, uh, yeah, man. I'm forever sad. Forever sad. Yeah, we're, we're still here, Holly. I'm getting off in uh, one minute, two minutes max. If you have any other questions, just let me know. But Yeah, I mean, Skip Bayless, he's, he's a troll, like legit. He's a very high-level troll. He makes you think he believes what he's saying. <laughs> He'll fall on his sword in his, on his takes, but dude, he's just a troll at the end of the day. Yo, Darth. Pacheco will make the best rebalance. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for uh, Pacheco for sure. Stephen A is the worst. Uh, will Justin Ross play? Nah, he's out for the season. He's on IR. He had another foot surgery in the offseason. K. Wayne, are you really arguing with this Bengals fan? Let the man live. Let him enjoy his win. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we can't say much right now against him, but, I mean, I, I'm, I'm taking Mahomes over Burrow all day. You know, Mahomes is the most winningest quarterback over the last five years. He's broken every record in the, per, in the first five years of his career. Obviously, he's broken every record except for, I think Brady had three rings by now. But, yeah, man, Mahomes all day. Burrows is still a good QB. You know, I'm not going to discredit him. How old is Joe Burrow? Joe Burrow is 25. Mahomes is, what, 27? Yeah, Burrow's still on his rookie deal, I think. He's about to get a bag and a half. 
I think he's still on his rookie deal, right, guys? Almost positive. Yeah, McKinnon's still our best running back. Yeah, he's he's the best running back for our scheme. He's a great pass blocker, great at catching out of the backfield. And dude, last game for sure. He, I mean, he he was the best runner. Ran six point seven yards per carry. Burrow's twenty six in a few days. All right, all right. I mean, that's a weird comment. Mahomes and Burrow are both good. Neither is elite. I mean, Mahomes is elite. <laughs> so, I don't know what you're talking about. Mahomes is the best QB in the NFL. Josh Allen is not the best QB in the NFL. He's he's close. He's close. Josh Allen has uh, never made it past Kansas City in the postseason. He ain't the best QB. He's dangerous. He's a great athlete. His ability to run with the ball, he can do that better than Mahomes, but he ain't a better QB overall. No. He's not front runner for MVP. You know? That's Mahomes with uh, two of the worst tackles in the NFL with a brand new receiving core. You know, Burrow, Burrow's got the best trio in the NFL. Mahomes has, they traded away. The best receiver in the NFL, the Chiefs did. Um, yeah, so yeah, some people, y'all are just, you know, you just got to relax, man, about the QB thing. You can have your opinions. If you want somebody to agree with your opinions, I mean, you're not going to, you're just not going to find it in a Chiefs chat. Let's just be honest, man. Josh is trash. Nah, he's a good QB. Well, guys, thanks for, so much for hanging out. I think chat is out of questions and they're in full argument mode, which is fine. You guys can have fun with that. But I'm going to make a YouTube short um, I'm excited about making. So I'm going to get started on that. Hopefully I can get it out tonight. If not, I'm going to put it out first thing in the morning. We'll have a, we'll have another... This is my daily video. I'm not going to drop a daily today. I'm, I had family stuff going on and I've been grinding to the bone, to be honest. Um, I've been working really hard, so... I'm going to take it a little bit easier tonight. I'll make a YouTube short. We'll be back tomorrow with the daily. We'll be back Friday for sure with another live stream. And then we'll be live streaming during the game. And we might have for members in here, we might have the members only Zoom call this Sunday or the members only live stream pregame. I'm not sure which one yet. We're voting on it right now in the membership tab on the, the YouTube channel. But maybe see you guys then. But dude, I'm seriously grateful for all you guys. Thanks for, I mean, Holly, FLDB, Brand, Flip. I mean, everybody who donated that, that I can't think of, a bunch of people were gifting memberships. I'm just super grateful for you guys, man. Wouldn't be able to do what I do without you. And uh, this is fun. I love being able to do this, hang out, talk Chiefs, talk football. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about go Chiefs?